quick test one two three one two three sound test audio test Hey guys, you guys can hear me, right? Let me know if you guys hear me. All right, cool. Um, So uh, in this stream, you guys are gonna watch me make my own content for YouTube. I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be doing some stuff like I'm gonna doing I'm gonna be doing war attacks. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be farming on uh, on my Town Hall Eight account, on my Town Hall Nine account, and uh, also gonna do some Clash Royale on uh, on my other iPad. So hopefully, you guys enjoy. <laughs> So I'm just going to wait a few more seconds just for other people to come in to come watch.
All right, let's start. Hey guys, it's Sash, and uh, I've done a Archer Queen walk attack uh, for war in the previous episode on one of my war recaps. And uh, in this video, I'm going to be doing another Archer Queen walk attack for war. And uh, I'm going to be doing the same attack, but instead I'm going to be using four healers because the base that I'll be attacking uh, is this base number 20. And uh, my plan's going to be, I'm going to attack, I'm going to come in from the top. Uh, as I make my way, as my Archer Queen makes her way towards the south, uh, southwest from the top. As you can see from here, there are two point defenses. This is a max Town Hall 9 uh, base in terms of defense. Uh, so as you can see, max defenses. So when you're dealing with two point defenses right here, this cannon Archer Tower, you're going to need four healers. Uh, and if you're only dealing with one point defense at a time, you only need three healers. So I'm going to be using four healers for this attack. Uh, I can avoid that Archer Tower by using my Archer Queen on the top left, her range, 5 tile range. Uh, so that's why I'm using 4 healers. So, um, and another reason I'm attacking from the top is because from the bottom there aren't that many uh, big threats like the Archer Queen here, the Wizard Tower, Air Defense. I can take all of them out with my Archer Queen walking from the top left. And uh, I'm also going to be using a minion to remove that Spell Factory out of the way and uh, angle my Archer Queen to target this elix Elixir Collector so then she can then remove the cannon, Archer Tower and make her way towards the south. And uh, I'm, gonna making, I'm gonna be making an entry point right here at the southwest uh, towards this cannon with my Golem as my Archer Queen makes her way towards the south. And uh, we're gonna make that entry point here, break, in, break inside, uh, jump inside right here, uh, remove the Wizard Tower, Air Defense and the Archer Queen and also the Klein Castle threat as well. So hopefully our plan goes accordingly. Uh, so let's delve in. Um, okay, everything is ready. So let's go for it. Okay, so plan was basically minion right here as it's out of range. Um, speed that up a bit. Place the archer. Archer queen now. Healers, remove that elixir collector, and then she's gonna go after uh, the cannon. And uh, that's one point defense gone. She should be able to recover now. She's gonna go for the mine, but then she's gonna go for that archer tower. Okay, she's getting targeted by multiple. We're in the red zone, but she's removed the archer tower. We're still at the red zone, so we're gonna have to use a ra uh, raid spell right here just for safety. Uh, we're gonna remove that. Clan Castle Threat, the Dragon, and the Balloon with the Rage Spells. She should be able to do it pretty easily here. Okay, looking good. She's taking out the Dragon. She's making her way towards the south. Perfect. And uh, we're not gonna... Okay, there's a Tesla right there. Bit of a threat. We're gonna have to activate her ability here. Remove that Tesla. And remove that Cannon. And she's still gonna make her way towards the south. Okay, great. Now we're gonna make that entry point. Send in a Golem. Send in... Wizards here. I brought two pairs of ball breakers for safety here. Okay, open up. Perfect. And send in the king here. Remove that collector. And then we're going to send in another wizard. We're going to place that jump spell right here. Okay, great. Archer Queen's banging on the wall right there. So that's a good thing we brought safety wall breakers. Open up that layer. And uh, we're going to rage our kill squad right here. Okay, perfect. King is getting harmed. We're going to have to activate his ability over there. And uh, 1 minute 44 seconds left. We have plenty of time. Archer Queen, why are you not jumping over that wall? There's a jump spell right there. She could have just jumped in. But instead, she uh, decided to go that way. Okay, now, okay, looks good. We're going to send in our 
balloons and lava hound one two three one two three one two three and here one two one two evenly spread them out use that haste spell towards that uh, air defense and wizard tower again here towards that wizard tower send in our uh, cleanup minions here 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 and uh, we still have another haste spell okay great so looking very good here might get that three star hopefully uh, we're gonna use that haste spell quickly take out that Tesla threat and uh, those balloons should make their way remove that archer tower perfect all the threats are gone now it's just a matter of time send in that goblin here goblin there um, and then the archer right here as I'm as they take out that last threat the mortar so perfect it's gonna be a three star we still have 44 seconds all the structures have been taken out nice So yeah, very effective method, and it worked to perfection. Okay, um... So hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> so I'm gonna be making a video on this. So uh, that was like the first attack I did with the Archer Queen Walk. And the next one I'm gonna attack is uh, I'm gonna be clean up, cleaning up number 22. And let's see, the plan for this is gonna be practically the same thing. I'm gonna send out my queen from the top. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show that later on the stream once I get a full army. Um, okay, looks like we have these troops ready. Um, again, Golem. And where's our king? One hour and 12 minutes. It's a long time. Um, okay, we, ha we, we have everything training, so we're going to come back to this account later. Uh, and for now, I'm going to do some Town Hall 8 farming because... Uh, that's what I've been asked a lot on my channel by my Town Hall 8 players. I haven't been doing much Town Hall 8 farming videos, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to work on that. See, I'm going to have to hide this as I change my account. <laughs> Oh no, this is a Tunnel 7 account. My bad. <laughs> Logged on to the wrong one. Alright, let's redo this. Tunnel 8 account. Yeah, I have a lot of accounts. <laughs> you can just see how addicted I am to this game. to the song. Okay. So that should be it. Um, position it here. Mm -mm -mm. Hey Ash, I really like your tips for Dark Elixir Farming. I normally upgrade one hero a month. 
Uh, no both heroes every week. Alright, cool, thanks. I just watched your video about Hog Barge and can't find the loot in silver but good in gold. Alright, we're gonna be doing some Hog Barge later today on this stream on my Town Hall 9 account. Uh, right now I'm gonna try to get, get some videos, some content for my Town Hall 8 account. So I'm gonna be farming with Barge basically. And uh... Let's see here. Alright, let's go. Typing while shielded. Oh wait, lost it. Lost uh, airplay somehow. Um. Hmm. Okay, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Hey, Ezio, what's up? Hate setting this up. <laughs> okay, that should be good enough, I think. No, uh, smaller. Okay, that should be good. What are you using to record your iPod screen? I'm using a display recorder. It's a, it's a app you need. You need to jailbreak your uh, device to download this app. The yeah, only reason I uh, jailbreak. Mm -hmm. It's a really good recording app. Which trophy range is best for Town Hall 10? Am I forced to attack Town Hall 10's Infernos? As a Town Hall 10 player, you shouldn't really be attacking other Town Hall 10's that are uh, that have really high level defenses, like Town Hall 10 level defenses with Inferno Towers. You should avoid them. You really don't have to attack them as a Town Hall 10. Uh, when I was farming as a Town Hall 10 player, I just, you know, basically most of the time I avoided those, uh, those types of bases. Okay, here we found this base. Nice. We're gonna attack this. Okay, so here we found 2,000 Dark Elixir, and uh, it's spread around inside the town hall, the storage, uh, the drill right here. So let's see, we're going to try to go for all of it. We're going to attack from this side. First, take the Dark Elixir from this uh, level 3 drill. I'm guessing there's like around 405 Dark Elixir inside that drill, so I'm definitely going to go for that. And let's see. Okay, we're taking it all. And there's another drill right here. Okay, nice. We're gonna go for that. It's a level two drill. It's loaded. Should definitely go for that. Some of the archers are targeting the laboratory. Okay, now. And uh, what this also did was create space. Now we've created space so our barbarians and archers aren't gonna roam off towards the south. So here, we're gonna have to create another space. That, that archer tower over here is upgrading so it's inactive so uh, what we can do is we can take advantage of advantage of that removing uh, this elixir collector and uh, that would leave us with these structures right here on this side so all we have to do now is just spread our barbarians and archers now take into consideration the mortar right here level 6 mortar and the wizard tower here so we're gonna have to use a raid spell and a heal spell uh, because of that barbarian king and two mortars Otherwise, it's going to be very risky against this Town Hall 8 base. I'm, I have Town Hall 7 
offense. I have level 7 barbarians and level 7 archers. So here we're going to first use that rage spell. Open up that layer with the, the wall breakers. Send in our king. We're definitely going to need his support. And uh, oops, I accidentally dropped my wall breakers. <laughs> Uh, but that's fine. We should still be able to make our way inside So here as you can see Kings inside and Our archers over the wall are gonna target that dark elixir storage perfect Just on time nice and uh, Can we get the town hall? Yeah, we should be able to get the town hall with the archers, but we're gonna lose our king But that's fine. He's only a level 3 king not really gonna help too much uh, no, there's a mortar that's in range, that level 6 mortar, so uh, we're not going to be able to get the town hall. But we still managed to get a lot of dark elixir. We've gotten 1700 in total dark elixir, so that's awesome. And uh, I'm going to be boosting two barracks because uh, otherwise it's just going to take a very long time to get a raid going. So four wall breakers, fill the rest with barbarians. And again, four wall breakers, fill the rest with archers. And rage spells and heal spells. Uh, where's the other bear? Okay, right here. Um, camp's currently at 48. And uh, while I wait, I'm going to be doing some crown, uh, Crash Royale uh, battles on this account. Sun Gowen, okay. I'm gonna start by placing that expo right here. He still hasn't sent out any of his uh, troops. Any of his uh, troops? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what he's waiting for, for the expo to die out or something. Cause I'm taking out his uh, one of his crown towers out on the right. And he still hasn't deployed anything. <laughs> okay, it looks like a free win then. It's pretty strange. Doesn't have uh, th this doesn't happen often. Mm -hmm. Maybe he lost connection or something. Okay, that's gonna be a quick three crown victory. Now um, I'm going to try to get to Arena 4, only need uh, 1100 trophies. Oh, and I just recently got that expo too, like this morning in a, in a crown chest. Got really lucky. He sent out Barbarians there. I'm going to send out my Goblin Barrel on the left. I'm just going to avoid those Barbarians, they're not going to live for too long. I'm gonna have to use that arrow, remove those uh, skellies and minions. And uh, here I'm gonna try to control the barbarian swarm on the right with some skeletons. And I'm gonna send out that expo right here, target that left crown. Let's see what he does. No, <laughs> that expo is targeting his other troops. See, I just recently got the expo, so I'm just learning to use it right now.
He has a level 2 prince, very intimidating. Get ready to use that arrow if he sends out like a skeleton swarm or something. Yeah, he sent out some skeletons, but pfft, not gonna use my arrow on that. It's just a few skeletons. Alright, he's targeting my king tower on the right. I'm gonna send out my musketeer. Pfft, dang, this is looking really bad. Again, uh, <laughs> this is most likely because of his. Uh, because he's a higher level, level 5, and he has higher level, stronger level troops, so that's why I'm having a hard time here. Level 4 barbarians. Mm -hmm. There's that giant here. Send out that goblin barrel. Try to take out that left crown tower. There's 50 seconds left. I used an arrow there. Hmm. Yeah, this is not looking pretty. He just has overall better, <laughs> better higher level troops, so there's like no way for me to win this. Yeah, that's just gonna be game. It's kind of like uh, how you're a Town Hall 9 and you're up against a Town Hall 10. I camp set 149, so I have to wait a few more seconds. Um, so I'm gonna do one more battle. Did you rename Ash 2 to Pancake? Uh, no, Ash 2 is a Town Hall 7, Pancake is a Town Hall 8. He has some goblins going on on the left and uh, minions. So I'm gonna use a giant, defend, use the musketeer behind support, and uh, then I'm gonna send out my witch because a giant musketeer and witch combo is, is very deadly because the musketeer does point damage, which does splash, while the giant tanks. So it's a very deadly combination, and I love using this combination. They should be able to take out that left uh, crown tower very easily. So this is against someone of my level. He's a level 4 player, I'm a level 4 player. And we have uh, pretty much similar similar defenses. Okay, he has a level 3 giant here. Let's use that prince. And we're going to use a tombstone. And use that arrow to take out those goblins. And uh, his weakened giant. Okay, looking good. Um, hmm, he sent out his musketeer on the right. Uh, that was a smart move because he doesn't really need to uh, defend his king tower just yet. Okay, we're gonna send out that king, uh, that giant, a bit late there, and uh, we're gonna send out the musketeer and uh, prepare to use our witch. All right now, let's send out that witch. Okay, great, and that should do it. His uh, right crown tower is taken out. So we're looking very good here. Already took out both of his crown towers, so he's uh, badly uh, out of the lead here. So Prince should be able to take out his uh, king's king tower. So that should be game. Bam, bam, bam. Three crown, nice. Right, so let's go back to Clash of Clans. We have a full army. Whoa, crazy! On my first search, found this uh, this much resource, but it's a really well developed Town Hall eight base, and I I have Town Hall seven defenses. I mean, Town Hall seven offense. As you can see, level four barbarians and archers. So I'm just gonna get a few resource from this because of that. 
Go for the elixir collector. Why does it have to be over the wall? Uh, let's go for that. And while the king is distracted, let's go for the elixir. And here we can avoid uh, the wizard tower over here. We can avoid that cannon. Some job barbarians and archers on that gold mines here. And um, we have to remove the camps out of the way here. So you have four accounts. Yeah, I have four accounts. I actually have five, but the fifth one is a Town Hall 5. Haven't played it for like six months. Uh, I might use it for, for future purposes. Hey Ash, what's your full name? I uh, can't disclose that here. <laughs> It's Ash. That's my full name. <laughs> Alright, so here I'm going to go for those drills because obviously I'm not going to be able to break inside uh, with these troops. So basically I'm, I'm a Town Hall 7 offense against uh, Max Town Hall 8 here. Alright, great, got lots of resource. Is Eternal your nickname? No, it's not. But that's another story. <laughs> okay, lots of resource, nice. Mm -mm. Okay, we're at 80, so we're gonna do another battle on Crown Royale. I'm. Did I just say Crown? I'm in Clash Royale. <laughs> okay, here we have a very offensive oriented hand, so we're gonna send out our Goblin Barrel first to take it out. Goblin Barrel just, do, just doesn't help on defense, so it's a good idea to use that early. Here we're gonna use that Tombstone, slow down that, uh, that giant skeleton thing. It's a very deadly uh, troop, does a lot of damage, and then it, its bomb does splash damage right afterwards. No, this guy has a level 4 giant. That's going to be uh, very annoying to take out. We're going to send out our own giant. So as you can see, he already did a lot of damage. Uh, but I also weakened his uh, crown tower on the right, so that's great. And uh, here, I'm planning on using that expo to finish off his crown tower on the right. So here, let's go, expo. No, he has a bunch of skeletons, so that's probably going to distract my expo. Yeah, it's going to distract the expo. Um, hmm. Let's send out a goblin barrel on the left. That left crown tower, see what he does there. And then our expo should be able to finish off his right crown tower. Awesome. Finish it off, come on. There's a bomber over there. Nice, nice. And, uh... Valkyries are very weak. They're very good against uh, swarms. Uh, they're, you have to utilize them for swarms, like uh, uh, large hordes. But uh, they're going to do very little damage to tanks, uh, bulky troops that have a lot of hit points. And so Musketeer, take out the minions. Then we're going to need to shield the Musketeer. Hmm. Come on, giant. Nope, it's too late. She already has a uh, past that river point. And uh, we have that goblin barrel, So, but we're going to instead play defensive here. Use that expo to uh, attract the giant. And we're going to use our prince here. Just play defensive, there are 48 seconds left. And uh, while, while playing defense, oh, he's, he has taken out a crown tower. Okay, and uh, we're gonna use that tombstone. Slow down that skeleton king. Not skeleton king, uh, giant skeleton. Send out my musketeer. And uh, send out the goblin barrel over there. Might just play offense. 
Um, the witch should be able to take out those skeletons very easily. Again, we're going to send out that expo, play more defense here, and also send out the tombstone in front of that uh, giant skeleton. So I have his uh, crown tower on the left weakened, so I should be able to quite easily win this soon enough. I'm going to send out my giant. Now he's he's in uh, desperation mode, so he's trying to go for my left crown tower here. But I'm gonna disallow him disallow him of doing that. I'm just gonna use my goblin horde, my arrow. He's at 120. Just need to take that that uh that crown tower out on the left, and I have this. Um, there we go. Okay, so that was pretty easy. Ah, uh, so would you please show your current base in edit mode? Because a friend of mine wanted to screenshot and copy it. My, uh, yeah, sure. Wait, do you mean the Town Hall 8 base that I'm using right now? I'm just gonna show it on edit mode for a few seconds here. So yeah, feel free to screenshot that. Hey, uh, I'm a fresh Town Hall 9, you can check me. I'm a... I'm clan trying my name, da na na. No, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna be doing any clan searching here. I'm just gonna be focusing on farming most, mostly in the stream. Um, so we have a full army ready. Alright, uh, where's our king? King, king, king. Where did I put him? Oh, <laughs> I'm blind. Okay, 14 minutes left. Alright, cool, no problem. A 2600 Dark Elixir here. It's inside those drills. I'm not gonna be able to get that uh, Dark Elixir drills. Just The space is just too powerful. Max Town Hall uh, 8 splash defenses. I have Town Hall 7 offense. So obviously that's just suicidal. Which base do I recommend? I I have a lot of bases. Um, I'll post the link on the chat in a second. Alright, so posted a couple of links on the chat uh, for bases. You guys can check that out. Uh, 
Farming got better now than ever after the Town Hall 11 update. No, the reason, uh, the reason you guys are seeing a lot of loot right now is because, uh, because of the one gem event it ended. So there's a lot of bases with loaded collectors and everything. It happens every year. Last year it was the same thing. During right before Christmas, it was really bad. Loot was really bad. During Christmas, it wasn't that great. It was pretty bad because uh, they were doing both a barrack boost and a collector boost, so that kind of even things out uh, because you had you had a lot of people using stronger armies to farm. Um, but yeah, um, this year. It's, 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 it's no different this year. So right after Christmas, right after that one gem event, that's why you're finding a lot of these bases with lots of resource. But um, right after they introduce another update, I'm guessing they're gonna have a new update in like in like uh, in, in like two weeks um, with the new star bonus and everything. And uh, that's once again gonna slow down the economy. Because right after you have a big update and everything, you get people playing again. You get you get you have them active again, uh, especially with the new star bonus system, which is gonna have people logging in more. So you're gonna have more activity, and uh, the more activity there are in this game, uh, the less dead bases there are. So yeah. Have fun. It's free. <laughs> this is a. Okay, but that's very little resource here. Don't even want it. But thanks. Is it worth to rush to Town Hall 11 from nearly max Town Hall 10? If you're if you're in nearly max Town Hall 10, how is it rushing to Town Hall 11? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Uh, but if you're not if you're not max Town Hall 10. Uh, it depends. If you have maxed offense as a Town Hall 10, then yeah, why not? If you have level 40 heroes, then go for it. No reason not to go to Town Hall 11 if you have a uh, maxed offense. Because uh, farming's actually yeah, you're gonna need to finish your walls and everything as a Town Hall 10. Don't move to Town Hall 11 unless you've completed all your walls. You completed all level 11 walls. Because if you ever uh. If you ever want to finish those walls, level 11 walls, then Town Hall 11 is a really bad place to do so. So yeah, if you ever want to finish them, finish them at Town Hall 10. But yeah, I definitely don't, don't advise rushing to Town Hall 11. And also don't advise rushing to Town Hall 10 unless... Uh, unless you've already completed your hero levels, if they're already at like level 28 each, at least level 28, because then you have two weeks of upgrade, you can finish them to level 30. And uh, once you have level 30 heroes, feel free to go to Town Hall 10 and uh, yeah, constantly upgrade them to level level 40. Ash, uh, by the way, Town Hall 9 farming base, Crows, you featured on your channel, works amazing. I've been using it for around two months now, and only two people were able to get the Dark Leech storage. That's great to hear. Uh, Crows was, uh, that base was created by one of my friends, uh, Phoenix. So yeah, all credits go to him for that base. So I'm still searching for a base that's pretty easy to get with lots of uh, Dark Elixir. I'm trying to target Town Hall 8 bases because Town Hall 7s don't have much Dark Elixir. I'm looking for at least a thousand Dark Elixir with this Barge method. Ash, the Town Hall 9 Crux base design is actually very vulnerable to Queen Walk, which majority of the attackers nowadays are using. Yeah, Queen Walk is a uh, is a very tough attack to defend as a Town Hall 9 player. I know I can attack almost any Town Hall 9 player with Queen Walk, given uh, multiple 
spells. Uh, you guys see me do a lot of queen walk on my YouTube channel. I post a lot of videos on that. And most of the attacks I do, I use very little spells because that's farming. That's how I like to farm. I don't like to use too many spells. Uh, but if I was to use a lot of spells, which a lot of poor farmers use, they use like four spells, all their spells to farm with the queen walk. Um, then that's just a pretty poor way of farming. As uh, you do want to conserve those spells, you do want to conserve troops. You don't want to use too many healers. You don't want to use too many uh, high elixir cost troops to farm with. That just makes it easier to farm with. But if you're if you're a town hall nine base and you're a max town hall nine defense base and you've been defeated by a queen walk against a powerful archer queen and the guy was using multiple spells to do so, then that's actually a good defense. Even if you were say three starred by that attack, it's still a good defense because you uh that attacker you made that attacker use that many spells against you and uh that much elixir cost also you're gonna need max town hall nine point defenses to defend against queen walks uh, if you have town hall eight level defenses as a town hall nine player then it's just so easy to uh completely wreck your whole base with with any level at least level 20 archer queen it's just so easy to completely wreck a town hall uh, 9 base with town hall 8 level defenses ash i have a really good base for town hall 9 it work even better than hypercube how can i send it to you, you can just post the you can just post the picture on the chat and I can just look at it. Just upload it to uh here I'll I'll show you the link. Yeah, just upload it online and just share the link. Mm -hmm. So I've been searching a lot, so I'm guessing loot is pretty bad at the moment. Uh, but then again, I'm not attacking. I'm not trying to farm uh, Dark Elixir efficiently like uh, like how you guys see me do with Bam in one of my YouTube videos and just go for the drill on the outside. I'm not doing that currently because I want to I wanna publish some videos on how to attack uh, storages as a Town Hall, early Town Hall late player who's farming Dark Elixir. So here I can easily go for the drills over here, but... Those are level 1 drills, not worth it. Okay, lots of resource here, but it's a Town Hall 8 player. Level 6 mortars, definitely can't get that as a Town Hall 8 with Town Hall 7 offense. I tried the Tectonic as well, and many attackers attack from the top uh, too easily to get a storage. But at least they gave me shield. Uh, obviously, uh, you're gonna lose storages in the current meta. There are in total around 10 storages. You gotta think of the town hall as two storages. So basically, the town hall is two storage. Then you have four gold storage, four elixir storage. That's a total of 10 storages separating your gold and elixir. Then you also have the dark elixir storage. So that's in total 11 storages to protect. You're obviously gonna lose storages on defense. That's expected, and you should be. Uh, you shouldn't try to compile all your storages in the center in the core because then it's just gonna be too easy you're gonna have less defenses covering your d storages and that's just a poor defense that's uh what most people call a vault space with storages all clumped inside the core they're just too easy to get too, too easy to get all the storages so the most effective bases uh are bases that separate storages like this base they're separating all the storages in the corners uh with the centralized dark elixir storage this is a good farming base uh that you know that does that Okay, here we have 1700 Dark Elixir, but again, again, uh, very difficult to get with with the offense I have. Yeah, level 6 mortars, multiple walls that I have to break through. Mm. 
me Town Hall 9 attacks. I'm gonna be doing I'm gonna be covering Town Hall 9 attacks later. I'm a new Town Hall 8. That's great to hear, so uh what I'm doing right now should be of great value to you. So there's a lot of Dark Elixir, but I'm trying to go for more, right? Like this base, we have a lot of Dark Elixir, 1100. Spread around the Dark Elixir storage in the Town Hall. And this is what I really don't like about the current meta with the Town Hall also uh, also guarding some Dark Elixir. It just makes it much more difficult to get a lot of Dark Elixir. It used to be much easier. So here I'm just going to get some of the Dark Elixir from that level 1 drill. And I'm just going to focus on that storage, which will be pretty pretty easy to get. Yeah, he has a lot of outside defenses here. <laughs> All his Teslas. Okay, uh, let's pull those skeleton traps to the corner here. Alright, we have two mortars over here. Level 6 mortars. So here I'm using two hands and uh, using multiple fingers. <laughs> These wall breakers are just really weak. Level 3 wall breakers. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got the Dark Elixir storage. I think that's all we can get here on against uh, this Town Hall 8 base. Alright, so we're just gonna end it there. Okay. It's a 967 Dark Elixir, nice. So we have 149 troops, so we're going to do a Clash Royale battle while we wait. Okay, very offensive oriented hand, so we're going to send out that Goblin Barrel first. And we're going to send out that Expo right here. Take out that Musketeer. Dang, that Musketeer does a lot of damage, the so level 3 Musketeer. We're gonna send out a Giant here. He sent out a Goblin Barrel, gonna use that arrow to quickly take out those Goblins. So, I'm up against someone uh, a level higher than me, level 5 player. So it's gonna be very tough. Hey, Zankots, 1, 2, 3, hopefully I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> If not, I apologize. Dang, this guy has a whole swarm going on here. And I don't have much to counter it. You're level 5 barbarians. Um, dang. Okay, now I can send out my prince, take out his witch, and uh, hopefully his musketeer here. He's taking out a crown tower. Uh, yeah, against this person who's a higher level than me, I'm gonna try to go all out here. Try to gain, uh, try to get both his crown tower and his king tower over there. I actually should have used the goblin barrel to take out his uh, crown tower. But that's fine. Take, I've taken no, almost. Yeah, it's just really tough against a higher level player. Like, um, like I have no problem against someone of my level, but when up against someone that's uh, one level higher than me, 
I always seem to have I always seem to have problems. Okay, he's, he's, <laughs> he sent out those level five barbarians. Took out my expo very quickly. Uh, gonna send out my musketeer here. Use that arrow. That arrow really not gonna do much against those barbarians. They're just too powerful. Okay, gonna combine my giant over there with which musketeer versus musketeer. His musketeer is stronger, so I won. And uh, gonna send out my expo here. Gonna send out that goblin barrel. No. Dang. Um, musketeer. Arrow. I'm doing pretty good actually. Considering no goblin barrel, he's gonna take out my tower. I know it. Yeah. And three, two, one. Times up. I lost. Dang. Just needed to take out his other crown tower before he t uh, before he took out mine. Oh well. All right. Um. So, army's ready here. Let's let's go in. Want to stream a live war attack, Ash? I did earlier. Uh, I'm recording this stream, so I'm going to upload it later today. And uh, yeah, I'm going to do another war attack soon once I have my army ready on my Town Hall 9 account. It should be ready soon. Do you think that I should use 4 to 8 giants for Town Hall 9 farming with no heroes? Yeah, um, you can use 4 to 8 giants if you want. If you're using that many giants, you should just mainly use them to to uh, guard your barbarians and archers from splash, like the, the wizard towers. And that would probably be the only benefit of using giants without heroes, unless if you're using wizards. If you're boosting barracks, then you can use like eight wizards. Uh, if you're boosting barracks, it's just gonna make it much easier to farm dark elixir. Uh, with wizards and giants as a town hall nine without heroes, if you're boosting. Ash, what's your favorite town hall? My favorite town hall, hmm, probably town hall nine because you have two heroes, barbarian king and archer queen to farm with. You have a lot of things to do, and uh, you can also farm level nine walls and level ten walls. Very fun to farm. At Town Hall 9, much easier to farm as a Town Hall 9 because uh, loot is just everywhere. You can attack, you can target Town Hall 8s, Town Hall 9s, and Town Hall 10s. Town Hall 10s have a lot of Dark Elixir. Town Hall 8s and 9s can provide you with a lot of Golden Elixir. So Town Hall 9 overall, in my opinion, is the best Town Hall. And I would any day rush to Town Hall 9 uh, if I were to start a new account and just go hardcore. Okay, um... Here we found this base, so we're gonna attack this base. Okay, so here we have this base, Town Hall 9 base. So, uh, hmm, but he has Town Hall 8 level defenses, level 6 mortar, uh, wizard tower. That dark elixir storage is fairly easy to get. We just have to break inside where that wizard tower is, that compartment, and then our archers can target that dark elixir storage over the walls or that compartment guarding the uh, air defense. So let's first test the clan castle. It's empty. Great. And we're going to remove that camp. Can we remove it? Yes, we can. And we're going to try to remove... No, we don't need to... Mm, yeah, we're going to have to remove this laboratory. Otherwise, it might pull our barbarians and uh, archers. Okay, and uh, we're also going to need to use a rage spell and a heal spell because of the splash. And the rage spell, we need it for our archers, our weak archers, to get that uh, dark elixir storage over the wall before they die from the mortar damage. So we're going to send out Clan Castle troops first because they're stronger. They can tank the Wizard Tower's damage. And uh, here, going to use that Rage Spell. Couple it with the Wall Breakers. Come on, make it through, make it through. My Barbarians and Archers are dying so fast because of the powerful splash. So we have to use that Heal Spell here. And send out our Barbarians and Archers. And all those Archers are going to target the Dark Glitcher Storage over the wall. Perfect. So quite easy against uh, Rush Town Hall 9 base. 
And let's see if we can get that Town Hall. I don't want to use another spell because uh, you don't really want to use too many spells to farm with. You want to constantly have spells available to farm every raid. Okay, no, we're not going to get the Town Hall. So we're just going to end it there. Uh, but yeah, around 1100 Dark Elixir, very nice. What is the best farming composition for Town Hall 10 without heroes? Uh, personally, as a Town Hall player without heroes, I would farm with Barch or Bam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So last time you made a video of how to farm 14,000 Dark Elixir with Bams, do you think it will de decrease? Uh, with the loot decreasing in a few days, uh, no, I don't think it's gonna decrease. Maybe slightly, but not really, uh, not really substantially. Um, with that method, I I know I always make that much around around that much with two barracks boosts. I always make around 14,000, 15,000 dark elixir without heroes. Uh, with that method, I've done it many times. We do a lot of dark elixir farming races in our clans. Or, well, we used to do a lot, and uh, you can tell all my clanmates that have competed against me that I make this much Dark Elixir. Uh, my record probably is, I think my record for most Dark Elixir in a two hour session uh, with two barracks boosted and, uh, and an Archer Queen was 39,000 I believe or maybe 41,000 Dark Elixir in two hours. And my record for most Dark Elixir in one hour um, was I think 32,000 or like 28,000. I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna, I think I have a spreadsheet with that uh, information saved. Let me see if I can find it. Um, DE race, dark race, farming race, farm race, maybe it's farm race. No, I couldn't find it, but might share later if I can find it. Anyways, uh, ca camp's at 147, so just gonna take a few more seconds. How do I get Clash Royale? Clash Royale is only available to select countries such as Canada, Norway, Finland, Australia. But if you don't live in one of those regions, then you can just change your uh, region. You can change your region, your I Apple iTunes region, to like Canada, and then you can download it from the Canadian App Store. Just Google search or YouTube search it. I'm uh, I'm attacking number eight in a minute. You can stream it if you want. Sure, uh, Clash Addict. Go for it. So you're gonna attack this Town Hall 11 base. Hmm. Two multi infernos. You wanna tell me your plan? Okay, never mind. All right, Hell is going in, and let's see. He's using mass golems. He's gonna spread out the golems. Looking good. Just gotta open up that wall before. No, you don't want to send wall breakers in on those uh, wizard towers. Pretty big mistake there. But hopefully you can uh, still manage to get that two or three star here. Um. Okay, sent out heroes. Good placement of that jump spell. I like it. Those golems on the left and right are, have taken out the defenses. All right, that's gonna lead his uh, golems now towards the core. Two multi infernos, so yeah, very good idea of using mass golems here. It's just gonna be very easy uh, to get that town hall. 
No, that was a bad use of that poison uh, because... Yeah, actually that's fine. You've taken out the balloon, otherwise that balloon probably would have uh, really dealt a lot of damage to your golems. Um, it's a good thing that Town Hall isn't anti Archer Queen. The walls aren't separated enough to prevent the Archer Queen's range, so that's gonna make it very easy for for the Archer Queen to take out the Town Hall. This could have a this could have been a three star raid if uh, things went you no know, better. Like the wall breakers on the wall fail. And uh, if you lured out the clan castle, you should have definitely lured out the clan castle. Just use a hog rider, uh, lure out that lava hound, and just take it out with like a couple of minions. Yeah, you should have done that. Would have made it much easier. Uh, but yeah, successful two star attack on the town 11. Rush town 11. We'll take it. Um, 39 stars. They have still yet to attack our top players. Alright, we got mostly two stars on their top town hall, so that's good. And uh, we still have 24 attempts left. And on my town hall 9 account, I'm going to be cleaning that number 22 later. Ash, as you might remember, there are two versions of the Crow's Tunnel 9 base, one with the tunnel and the other with the inner ring. Um, I'm not sure because that's not a base that I created, it's a base that one of my friends created. So I'm going to link you to his thread so you can ask him personally. He knows, it, he knows the base much better than I do. Thirty thousand in an hour. Uh, yeah, that thirty thousand dark elixir in an hour record was with Bam. Oh, nice! Lots of dark elixir inside these level six drills. Definitely gonna go for that. Gonna have to send everything in because even though those dark elixir drills are pretty close, there's a level seven mortar right there that's gonna take out my barbarians in two shots. So yeah, just quick, gonna quickly take that, uh, take the dark elixir there, and just gonna run off. Fifteen hundred, nice. But yeah, 30,000 in an hour was, uh, that record was with Bam and an Archer Queen. Obviously, I was, uh, very lucky with that, finding a lot of, lot of drills on the outside. But yeah, that same method of conserving troops, using very few troops, searching for drills on the outside, even if you have an incomplete army. Even if I had like 40 troops, I still uh, searched for those bases with drills on the outside. And that's how I was able to make 30,000 dark clicks in an hour. And it was just a very, a very good hour uh, because, of, because of all the dark elixir that was available on the outside during that hour. Okay, let's do a Clash Royale attack. We're gonna throw that Goblin Barrel as usual since it's a very offensive oriented hand. We're up against a town, we're up against a level 5 player, so he has the advantage in that. Oh, dang it, this Goblin King. I hate this Goblin. Not Goblin, um, Skeleton King. He's just a really big threat. And that bomb damage is gonna probably take out my Witch. Nope, great, she was out of range. Perfect. Now we're gonna send out that Giant Shield the Witch as she takes out, she takes care of the, the horde of go uh, Goblins and Skeletons. And uh, we're gonna need to send out, we don't have a Musketeer. We're gonna use that arrow right here. Uh, weaken his witch. 
yeah, we have our musketeer going on there as well, so very good. Um, but again, he was able to shield all of that because he's a higher level. He has stronger troops that are bulkier, higher HP. Right here, we're going to send out that expo. And we're going to throw out that goblin barrel. We're going to shield our expo with the skeletons over here. But that level 3 giant is just too powerful. It's a level 1 expo. Alright, so here we're going to send out... No, he's going to... He has already taken out my crown tower just as easily. Um... Let's see here, we're gonna have to use that arrow, finish off his weakened giant and those uh, those goblins. So, I'm kind of struggling here. Hmm. Yeah, that giant practically did nothing there. <laughs> I'm gonna send out that goblin barrel, finish off his crown tower of, over there on the other side. And just just basically hope. Mm. Trying to control this uh, this horde that he has going on here. Gonna use that arrow. All right, now I'm gonna try to go for that crown tower on the left, while I send out a goblin barrel on the right. Really hoping that that goblin barrel takes that crown tower out. You know, 65, 205, 125. Not enough. I'm gonna send out my prince on the left. I'm gonna need to take out two crown towers if I want to win this. But it looks like I'm badly damaged here. Um, come on, take take it out, take it out. 45, no, no, look look how close that was. His crown tower had, but he already took out my king tower with that huge swarm going on. Uh, his crown tower on the right only had 45 hit points. But yeah, I was badly undermatched there because of his high level troops and uh, because he was a he was a level higher than me hey chief clash of clans what's up okay we have a full army Hey, Chief Hamster. <laughs> now, I'm going to take the Dark Elixir drills from this raid. Because it's just too easy to get here. Then the archers are gonna go for the dark elixir drill. Hopefully they're not distracted by that king. All right, great. I think they fixed that problem where uh, if the king was close by uh, and the archers were targeting some structures, those archers would be distracted by that king. So I think Supercell fixed that problem. It wasn't really a problem, but it was really just it was just really annoying. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get our king back in the, about 20 seconds, and uh, as well as our camp, which should be completed in around around a minute. What's this song? Let me check. Oh, missed it. <laughs> um, that song was which direction anecdote.
My army's ready. No problem, Leslie. Jack it up. Do I know Clash of Clans Forecaster? Yes, I do. It's probably really bad right now. I'm going to check Clash of Clans Forecaster right now. Awesome, found a lot of resource here. So I'm just gonna go for that. Probably not gonna get all of it, just because uh, I'm up against some strong defenses. Let's distract that king and then send out our barbarians and archers here to take those collectors. Okay, great. All right, good enough. It's a lot to resource. Yeah, loot index currently is, is 1.8 and it's dropping as well. So uh, Clash of Clans forecaster says loot is really bad. Even though I found that dead base, not, not really sure about that. But I have been nexting a lot, so possibly uh, the loot is probably bad, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure. I'll let you guys be the judge of that. Uh, so camps at 75. I'm going to need my giant, so can't really donate the giant. Can I join Altar of Heroes? Uh, Altar of if I'm uh, completely maxed Town Hall nine, as long as you have at least nine hundred uh, million gold grab, you can you can uh, apply on the forums. I'll post the link on the application link on uh, on the chat. Yeah, against a level 5 opponent, dang. <laughs> He's already taking out a crown tower. And uh, hopefully I can do the same. Nope, not looking good. Level 3 Valkyrie. Level 6 minions. This guy probably gemmed. Yeah, he probably gemmed these high level troops. You can't really get these uh, high level troops without gemming. I know because I've been playing this game uh, since the hour it, it was launched on my main account. Hey Skyrunner, what's up? Alright, gonna send out that giant. No, there's a prince on the right. And I don't have anything to uh, counter him. Come on, come on. Load up on the elixir so I can do something here. I gotta I gotta need to I'm going to have to send out my goblin barrel here. But it's just too late, he's gonna win. Yeah, there's only 55 hit points left on uh, on my king tower. And he's gonna win. There we go, yeah. Nothing I could have done. Yeah, 
yeah, let's check that. Level 5 Goblin Spears, level 6 uh, Minions, level 4 Barbarians and everything. Yeah, I was again undermatched here. As you can see, I've only, I only I have all my epics level 1. Hmm. Hey Ash, I just upgraded to Town Hall 10. The matchmaking is completely different from when I was Town Hall 9. I'm finding it very hard to farm with Town Hall 9 troops. Any suggestions? Uh, if you're a town, if you're an early Town Hall 10 player, just do Barch or Bam in low leagues like Silver and Gold, or uh, or even Crystal. It's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough until you get level six, level seven Barch. Then you can make your way towards uh, Masters and then farm there. Dang, against another uh, level 5 player. Hmm. So it's really hard to progress in this game if you're a if you're uh if you're a town <laughs> not town hall. If you're a level 4 player at this range because uh, you're gonna win against other town hall, not town hall. <laughs> Why do I keep saying town hall? Uh, you're gonna you're gonna win against other town hall, not town hall. Against other level four players, if you're a if you're a level four player. Uh, however, there's a lot of level five players at this range, a lot of level five players. So you're gonna lose. And uh, if you want to progress in this game, you're gonna have to win more than you lose. So if you keep winning and if you keep losing, then you're going to gain 30 trophies and then you're going to lose 30 trophies. So you're not going to progress this way. Uh, so that's a big problem with this game. And uh, yeah, that's one thing I hope that they fix this matchmaking issue uh, where you just get uh, mashed up against people that are stronger than you. And uh, obviously there are no town hall snipes. There's no like sniping in this game. You can't progress freely. Uh, so think of it as like the old... Yeah, I'm just gonna give up here. Think of it as like the old Clash of Clans system uh, where where you were mashed up with anyone randomly in multiplayer. Here you can't choose your target. Uh, in, the, in the Clash of Clans system you can choose the person you want to attack, the base you want to attack. Uh, but here you can't. You're forced to target you're forced to battle against people that are of a uh, higher level than you and uh, yeah that's just so demoralizing having to play against these these players that have uh, better troops than you that also gem uh, especially gemmers even if you're a person if even if you're matched against someone uh, of same level against you that person could be a gemmer uh, gemming higher level cards and troops so it just makes it you know really tough progressing in this game having to battle against these people and you're forced to battle against them so yeah, it's just tough otherwise it's a fun game but it's a really bad game in my opinion in terms of co competition uh, it's just really unfair it's pay to win as well all the people in the leaderboard are up there at, at the top of the leaderboard they're up there because they're gemmer there's no Literally no person in the leaderboard up here is a uh, is a person that didn't spend. Everyone here on on the leaderboard at the top of the leaderboard with 2,000 trophies, 1,900 trophies, they all gemmed. They all gemmed a lot, and uh, it's it's apparent that they did gem just by looking at the level of their uh, cards and everything. Like here, this random person, uh, <laughs> level four troops and everything, level eight. Obviously, this person probably spent like around uh, over a thousand dollars already on gems, and you can tell that just by looking at the level of their cards and everything. So yeah, uh, competition in this game is pointless because of that. It's just yeah, it's just a sh it's such a shitty system, in my opinion. Uh, excuse my language.
Ash, do you think it's wise to farm in gold to 7, uh, 1500 to 1700 with Town Hall 11? Um, I guess you can for gold and elixir. You're not really gonna find much. Uh, you're not gonna find much dark elixir. But then again, you're a Town Hall 11 player, so obviously you're probably going for elixir, which is the most uh, the most scarce loot for a Town Hall 11 player. So maybe, yeah. Um, maybe gold is a good place to farm as a Town Hall 11. Because uh, you're going to find a lot of rush bases and those are the bases you want to attack. However, personally, I like to farm in Masters 3 as a Town Hall 11 because I do want that loot bonus. It's, it's just an additional loot bonus, like 100,000 gold in Elixir. And that really helps. Uh, so, in my opinion, i just stay in Masters 3 if I were a Town Hall 11. Just for the loot bonus. Additional loot bonus. You're not going to get anything, just a really insignificant amount of loot bonus in Gold League. Okay, 2,000 Dark Elixir, very tough base, level 8 walls, hmm, yeah, level 6 uh, mortars, and that Barbarian King is the most, uh, the, is the deadliest, because he's centralized, and he's going to distract all my troops, allowing uh, the splash defenses to deal multiple hits on my Barbarians and Archers. Hey Daniel, what's up? Where am I from? I'm from New York. I'm 23. Okay, lots of Dark Elixir here, so I'm gonna target this guy. Okay, here we have a Town Hall 8. Uh, his Barbarian King is right on the outside here. Let's see, where's the Dark Elixir drills? Yeah, he only has one drill here. Yeah, it looks like he only has one drill. Hmm. So I'm going to go for the storage and try to go for the town hall. So first, um, we're going we're gonna to open up that first layer. We have level 3 wall breakers. So I'm going to need to use 3 wall breakers here. And um, that wizard tower is right there. So we're going to need to use... A heal spell otherwise that wizard tower is just gonna kill all our barbarians and archers very quickly and we're also gonna need to use that raid spell to help our wall breakers open up that second layer and now we can expect all our barbarians and archers to go straight inside that camp is kind of distracting them maybe we should have taken that out but then again it's pretty far away so uh, we can send in the rest of our archers here 
as they make their way towards the core along with the rage and the heal that has allowed our Barbarian King inside. Uh, so here I'm hoping for my troops to get that Town Hall, but then again they're very weak, they're only level 4. Um, so yeah, they're having a pretty difficult time breaking that Town Hall. Mm, come on, nope, we couldn't get it. But yeah, once I get level 5 Barch as a Town Hall A, it would make farming much. It would. It would fit. It would make farming much easier. Um, so we're at forty-seven percent. Can we get that fifty percent? Even though we don't, we don't really need fifty percent because I'm farming here in uh, Gold League, and uh, I'm not really focusing on trophies. I'm just focusing on Dark Elixir. So we're gonna end it there. One thousand Dark Elixir. Awesome. Ash, are you playing on the computer? No, I'm not playing on the computer. I'm playing on my two iPads. I'm uh, I'm recording this this uh, stream through AirPlay, so I have uh, my iPad screen onto my computer, and then uh, that's where I'm streaming it from. <laughs> Hey Ash, it's BMX Kid. I've tried joining your clan. Hey BMX Kid. Um, if you want to join join my clan, you have to apply. We have an application thread. So you have to apply there and uh, one of our recruiters, if you meet the requirement, uh, one of our recruiters will accept you into the clan that you meet the requirement for. Yep, I go to school. And yeah, I have a part-time job. Are Town Hall 8 allowed in your clan? Uh, no, none of our clans at the moment um, except Town Hall 8. Our War Clan, Altar of War, even though I shouldn't be in this clan, uh, we don't really accept Town Hall 8 anymore. Just Town Hall 9s, 10s, and 11s. And our other three clans are really hardcore farming clans, which um, which accepts Town Hall 9s, 10s, and 11s. As an early Town Hall 10, I can't find any dead bases like I did with Town Hall 9. It's just it's just my max uh, to to the nine side, so it's hard to barge. Yet yeah, early Town Hall 10 is really tough. You just have to get by it. Until you get better offense, level 7 barge. Until you get uh, 240 camp space. And uh, yeah, until you get better offense. It's just gonna be tough farming as an early Town Hall 10 player. How much are you, uh, how much are you clashing per day when you are in school or working? Very little. At the moment, I'm just clashing mainly uh, to make videos for YouTube. So right now what I'm doing, I'm multitasking right now actually, I'm doing stream. I have free time today so I'm doing a stream today and while I'm doing the stream I'm also recording. As you can see I'm rec recording uh, videos and uh, yeah, I'm making content for YouTube that I'm going to be uploading later, later today on YouTube. I think we've run out of boost, yeah, so we're gonna boost again here. And uh, I'm looking for just one more attack as a Town Hall A, going for the Dark Elixir Swords with Barge. And then I'm gonna move on to doing some Town Hall 9 farming. I might take a break first, I need to get some lunch. Alright, so while we wait for that camp to fill, we're gonna do a battle on Clash Royale.
We also have enough Dark Elixir to upgrade that Barbarian King, so that's what that's what I'm gonna do uh, after the next raid. So let's, let, let's drop that Goblin. Let's. <laughs> I need some water. So um, he has Barbarians on the right. Those are a big problem. And then I'm gonna send down my prince. I'm just gonna focus on the right side because he has goblins and skeletons on the left. Not really much of a threat. So I'm just gonna focus on getting that crown tower on the right side. And I'm gonna send down my musketeer behind both the, the goblin, I mean not the goblin, the giant and the prince. Which are very, both tanky units. So there we go, we should be able to get that crown tower, nice. No, there's Valkyrie right there. Okay, perfect. We got the crown tower and now we're just gonna focus on the left side. We're gonna focus on defense mainly now. We're gonna need to throw that goblin barrel out. We can, uh, that crown tower. Also gonna send down my giant here to shield against that expo. But yeah, mainly playing defense right now. Gonna send out that arrow, finish off all of those uh, troops right here. His expo's weakened, so it should die off right about now. Great. And let's see, we're gonna send out our own expo. Do I know when Clash Royale will go go will go global? Uh, no, I don't know about that. <laughs> I don't work with Supercell, so there's no way I, I would know. Um, so here I'm going to send out that prince in front of my witch. Remove that goblin barrel. And we're going to use that arrow to finish off his uh, troops here. So this is, uh, this is going very well. Even though he has strong troops, he has a level 6 9, level 2 Valkyrie. It's going very well because he's a town he's a level 4 player. He also has a level 2 expo, so he has better everything than me. Uh, but I'm doing very well because he's a level 4 player. So yeah, you, you guys can just really see the huge difference in power between uh, a level 4 and a level 5 player. So seven, six, and uh, just keep playing defense and we have this game in the bag. There we go. And that should be like 30 trophies. 31 trophies, yup. When you maxed your first account, how did you man manage to play Clash of Clans, have a job, and go to school? Um, it's tough. It's just uh, really good management of your time. Um, when I was at Town Hall 10, I actually progressed pretty slowly as a Town Hall 10 because I did most of the work as a Town Hall 9. I finished all my level 10 walls as a Town Hall 9. I uh, constantly kept both of my heroes upgrading. So I had level 30 heroes and I had level 10 walls when I moved to Town Hall 10 as a Rush Town Hall 10 player. And uh, if you guys look at my really old YouTube videos, you can, you can you guys can see that I had Town Hall 8 level defenses as a Town Hall 10 player when I first rushed there. Obviously, um, I smartly rushed. I didn't like badly rush. I smartly rushed because I finished my level 10 walls and I finished my level 30 hero. So really no point for me to stay at Town Hall 9. And uh, rushing to Town Hall 10 allowed me to then finish my heroes to level 40 as soon as possible. And uh, the game is just so much more fun with level 40 heroes to farm with. So uh, then I was able to just take my time throughout my whole Town Hall 10 journey. I averaged around like 2 level 11 walls a day, didn't really farm that much, played casually, was able to uh, make the resources that I needed. It was just very easy to do so 
with my high level heroes that I worked hard for as a Town Hall 9 player. So here just going to go for the Dark Elixir Drills. Okay, great. 1200 Dark Elixir. Okay, so just a few more seconds, we should have a full army. You know what, let's just upgrade our king. Should we upgrade him? Mm. Yeah, I don't think I need him, so I'm just gonna upgrade him right now. Okay, so camp is full. Let's start searching. I need to go see ya, you're my favorite Clash player, thanks, and have a nice day, thanks for watching. Base reviews, no I won't be doing base reviews today, I just need to focus on farming, as I make uh, videos. So yeah, I'm pretty surprised actually at the moment. I've been attacking a lot of uh, Town Hall 8 uh, players and I have Town Hall level 7 offense and I'm still able to break inside and get their storages. So as you can see, even with Barch, a simple composition like Barch, Barbarians, Archers, uh, you're able to do this stuff. You're able to break inside, get the storages. Ash, did you start a third account? Nope. Um, have four accounts, a Town Hall 7, Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9, and a Town Hall 11 account. Mm -hmm. Centralized Dark Elixir storage around, uh, guarded by high hit point units, those other storages, so very difficult to get. Wait, may we see your base? Which base? You want to see my Town Hall 8 base? If you want a list of my post update bases, uh, then I'll post the link to that on the channel in a second. On, on the chat in a second.
Oh, you want to see my Town Hall 11 base? Right, I'll show you after the next raid. Yeah, I haven't been focusing too much on uh, Town Hall 7 and Town Hall 8 videos, uh, which I need to. <laughs> So that's what I'm working on today. I'm trying to make some videos, some Dark Elixir farming videos for my Town Hall 8 players. Just showing them how easy it is to make, to farm Dark Elixir, to get your Barbarian King to level 10 with just Barge. Just gotta use Barbarians, Archers, and Wall Breakers. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of work managing four accounts. This account, this Town Hall 8 account is a rushed account. I just mainly rushed to Town Hall 8 just, just to share, uh, just to make content for Town Hall 8. So yeah, still working on it. And I still have Builders Idol, so as you can see, I haven't been, I haven't had the time to farm. Uh, my... Town Hall 11 account currently has idle builders. Town Hall 9, all my accounts at the moment have idle builders. Just haven't had the time to uh, keep them going. But you know, I'm I'm content with that progressing slowly. Um, I'm just a few weeks away from a max Town Hall 11, anyways, on my main account. So yeah. Okay, awesome, a Town Hall 8 base with 1600 Dark Elixir and it's separated uh, between that Dark Elixir storage and that Town Hall. Uh, we're probably not going to be able to get that Town Hall because it's guarded by a King. We don't have our Barbarian King for this raid, so we're just going to use Barbarians and Archers. We're going to have to first remove that camp out of the way, otherwise it's going to pull our Barbarians and Archers. Also going to have to remove this uh, Sweeper. It's being guarded by three Teslas, that's just really weird. And uh, also always test for any bombs, any traps on the outside. He also has a dragon and a wizard tower in his clan castle. I'm not going to waste my poison spell. What I'm going to do instead is just go for the kill on that dragon. Dragons are very easy to kill uh, with barbarians and the archers and I'll show you how. So first I'm going to pull that dragon out on this, um, right here on the corner towards this free space so it's out of range. So that dragon's not protected by um, his archer tower over there. Okay, let's pull it. Let's pull it out right here. And now we're gonna constantly distract that dragon while we are gonna surround it with archers. And while we have it surrounded with archers, we're just gonna continually distract it with barbarians here. So as you can see, very easy to take out. Now we're gonna spread our barbarians and archers. Now we need to prioritize on that. Wizard Tower, that's the biggest threat here. Next is that Moor over there, so we're gonna have to prioritize removing that Wizard Tower. And then send in Wall Breakers, constantly send in Wall Breakers, send in more Archers. And uh, main threat is that Mortar and that Wizard Tower, no, come on. Troops are very weak, so they die very quickly against the Mortar and the Wizard Towers. So he did have three Splash Defenses covering that Dark Lich Storage, but still not enough. And my Barbarians and Archers were able to take out his uh, storage. Awesome. So we got around 1300 I believe. Yeah, 1300 Dark Elixir. Nice. Okay, so um, let's see. All right, now I'm gonna do that Town Hall 9 attack. I'm gonna switch to my Town Hall 9 account and I'm gonna do that war attack that I've been uh, talking about. I'm gonna go for that three star win with the Archer Queen attack.
Keeping five builders on Town Hall 10 is quite easy because the buildings take such a long time. Yeah, that's true. Unless if you're a rush Town Hall 10. I've been doing a, I've been doing your queen walks at Town Hall 9 and 10 with some really nice success. Nice, that's really glad to hear that. Okay, so we have everything ready, it seems. So we're gonna we're gonna attack that base number 22. Okay, so the second attack we're gonna do is against this uh, this base number 22. We're gonna clean this base. Uh, let's just check quickly check that replay. What's inside that clan castle? Uh, I believe there's a dragon in there, and possibly balloons. Okay, Steve Roman, I don't know what he was doing. It looks like he was just going for farming here. He's a tunnel 8, and uh, looks like he was just farming for 50%, something we don't really allow in this clan. So not sure, uh, not sure why he was doing that. Also not sure why he was ac accepted to the clan, because uh, we don't accept town hall 8. Yeah, he should have at least scouted this uh, town hall so that I know what's inside. Hmm. Let's start over the commentary here. Okay, so the second base we're going to be attacking is number 22 here. And uh, here it's a much less intimidating base. It's a Town Hall 9 with a lot of Town Hall 8 level defenses. So it should be pretty easy. Uh, we're going to use the same composition. He has huts on the corners, so we're just going to use... Uh, archers to remove them um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack from the top let's see here um, he has one point defense cannon archer tower expos on air and ground so not much of a threat here um, but again he has a lot of point defenses on the exterior as you can see all his point defenses are on the exterior uh, his archer tower is cannons uh, so we're gonna use four healers to keep my archer queen alive as and make her way travel towards the southwest and then we're gonna create that same entry point here like we did in the previous attack and uh, break inside go for the queen kill and get the other air defense and then we're gonna attack from the right side as you can see his air sweeper is pointing towards the left here so he only has one air sweeper pointing towards the right so it should be should be pretty easy uh, beating this guy so let's go for it Okay, so um, let's see, can we avoid that archer tower with the archer here? Yeah, we can, so let's go for that uh, army camp kill, and also the builder hut over there, remove it with our archer, and uh, then we're going to send out our queen right here, one, two, three, four, and right after they take out the camp, she's going to focus on moving towards the south. Okay, great, she's moving towards the south. Okay, here she's targeted by two point defenses, not a problem, have four healers. She's gonna remove uh, the arch, oh no, we're getting targeted by four, three point defenses. We're gonna have to use a rage spell here. Okay, so then she's gonna remove the cannon and then she's gonna be, uh, then she's, she can recover freely right afterwards. She also, she also re removed the archer tower, uh, so great, looking very good here. We're gonna now make that entrance inside now send in our golem remove these side structures with the wizards create that funnel uh, brought two pairs of wall breakers just for safety send in a uh, king here queen over there is being targeted by the opposing archer queen but my queen stronger shouldn't be a problem and then we're gonna use that jump spell to jump right in here with that king and the golems and then we're gonna use a rage spell on our kill squad always invest a lot on the on your uh, kill squad I have two poison spells probably shouldn't have two poison spells just need one uh, but that's fine um, our healers have wandered off but that's really not an issue because we've we've done a lot of damage already I'm gonna use that mini on that hut, hut at the corner so I don't forget and uh, we've taken out his king and Without delay, we're going to send out our Lava Hound and Balloons, three Balloons each. 
Activate the Queen's ability. One, two, one, two here. Send out our cleanup minions. Use that hay spell towards that air defense and the wizard tower, and then another hay spell towards that air defense. So looking very good. We're gonna use that poison spell on those uh, those uh, traps, those skeleton traps to remove them. So looking very good. Let's send out those cleanup goblins. We have a minute left, plenty of time. Um, where is our lava hound? Looks like our lava hound died. No. These balloons. Yeah, I really needed that third hay spell. Did not need another poison spell. Dang it. Looks like it was a fail. My bad. But we're gonna look over this. I wonder why we failed here. Shouldn't have been a should have been a pretty easy base to beat with the Queen Walk. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So we're just gonna end it there. We're not gonna be able to get the third star. <sighs> Let's see what went wrong. Let's see what went wrong here. Uh, looks like air, uh, the airplay server went down. Um, trying to fix that problem right now. Okay, why isn't it working? Okay, there we go. Oh, that's good enough. Anyways, uh, you guys probably missed it. I failed that attack. I failed to 3 star. So I'm going to show the replay. And see where, it went, see where it went wrong. It's against number 22. This should have been a pretty easy 3 star. But it went wrong somewhere. And uh, I rarely uh, fail to 3 star. A base like this in war, so that was pretty surprising. So we have the Archer Queen going here. We use that Rage spell because uh, she was targeted by four point defenses. Okay, here we have the Golem going in. Open up, King. Funnel was great. Queen is still over there. She's banging on the wall. And then she's gonna make her way, but then she's also gonna bang on the wall. So that that was the problem over there. Uh, but then here we we're gonna use that poison spell. Wizards, where are the wizards? We got targeted, and the queen is over there targeting the wall. Okay, yeah, this was the problem right here. Um, queen was she just couldn't make it on time to remove the dragon. Uh, as uh, my king and the golem were unprotected from the Klein Castle Dragon and the Balloon. Um, yeah, and they did not remove that air defense. So there was three air defenses and I just didn't have enough firepower left uh, for my Lava Hounds and Balloons. And he also had a Skeleton Trap set, set to air. So I guess that gave me trouble as well. In addition to... Uh, not being able to save the queen 
as the healers separated. They separated, they went towards the golem and the king. Uh, not sure why, because my queen was still targeting that wall, so yeah. Hate when healers do that. Their, their AI is a bit complicated sometimes. Uh, but yeah, oh well. Hopefully my attack didn't cost my clanmates the war. I think it's still a pretty close war. And uh, we're a pretty good clan, so I'm pretty confident that we can win this. And look, I got two starred, so that's pretty good. So yeah, this war is actually looking very good. As you can see, our Town Hall 9s uh, are mostly two starred by them. And we've managed to three star most of their Town Hall 9s. Uh, so this can then allow our Town Hall 10 players. These are basically Town Hall 9 fails. Clyde's a Town Hall 9, I'm guessing. Um, so yeah, our Town Hall 10 players can then clean them up, the bottom Town Hall 10s, and also work on uh, beating their Town 11. So we're looking pretty good at, pretty good at this war. Try sending in the air phase a bit sooner. No, um, that won't help because I was attacking from the other side, so the balloons and lava hound would not have uh, safeguarded any of my archer queen and king. And I also needed to remove another air defense, so sending in a sending in my lava hound and balloon that early uh, would really not be a really good idea because. I still haven't removed enough defenses. I had two lava hounds and twelve balloons, uh, so yeah, I was really hoping on my. I was really hoping that my kill squad uh, would would deal at least fifty percent damage to the base, and also remove two air defenses. <clears throat> but yeah, oh well, that was pretty unfortunate. So I'm gonna get back to farming now. I'm gonna do some archer queen, super queen attacks with hog barge Alright, so while I wait for my camp to fill up, I'm gonna, um, yeah, it's 12.42 p.m. I'm gonna have to eat lunch at the moment, so I'm gonna take a short break, around a 30 to 40 minute break, so, so, that, uh, so that I can get lunch. Um, so I'll be back soon. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave like a s timer right here so you guys know that, when, so you guys are aware of when I'll be back.
this would be our end But it's nothing new Push it back, push it back down if I have to If you want me to Cause we can to lose if we I'm starting a new e-commerce website to sell my latest invention. You wear pants, don't you? Well, I don't know about you guys, but mine are all... Hey guys, my name is Ash, and this will be my first Clash of Clans video on this new channel. This video pertains to the start of a video series or a documentary of my journey to level 40 Barbarian King and Archer Queen in record fashion. Uh, both my heroes will be upgraded without any delay as I farm Dark Elixir and there will be no gems used to either speed up the time or buy Dark Elixir or boost my barracks. 
each hero requires a total of 227 and a half days to train to level 40 without any delay. So that would mean <clears throat> that I would have to... Hey guys, it's me, Ash again, and welcome to the second video of my journey to level 40 heroes. In this video, I'm going to share a couple of my Dark Elixir farming raids. But first, let me just say that I've created a new clan for people of similar interests in getting their heroes to level 40. The clan's name is Altar of Heroes. You can also come visit me if you have any questions or would like to chat. Uh, my king has recently moved up to level 15. Well, my queen is now level 12, and recently I've achieved a heroic heist of over 1.7 million. The town hall is outside, so of course I'm gonna go for the free trophies. One mistake I see a lot of people make when raiding a base like this is that they overuse troops just to snipe the town hall. Never waste troops, it only requires two barbarians to take down the town hall, so that's what I did. First thing I want to do when attempting to get the dark elixir storage is to take those outside defenses first, especially that mortar that does splash damage. A bunch of barbs and archers will overwhelm and take out that barbarian king in seconds. When spawning troops, use two or three fingers to spawn. I use my index finger, my middle finger, and my ring finger to rapidly spawn troops. The faster you spawn your troops, the harder it takes for point defenses like the cannon and the archer tower to take down your swarm of barbs and archers. Using three fingers to spawn means that you're spawning three times as fast than if you were to only use one finger. So I definitely recommend learning how to do this. This guy has giants in his clan castle, so I don't need to use that lightning spell as it would only take a few seconds for my archers to take him down. Now that wizard tower is going to be the main problem in my way to get that dark elixir, so instead of taking it out, I'm going to distract it with my minions while my archers steal the dark elixir. Whenever you're sending out minions, always send them out one or always send one or two minions out to check for air bombs and activate them. I sent out two minions to activate the air bomb, and now my other minions can safely distract that wizard tower as my archers take out the dark elixir storage clutch. And while I was doing all that, my barbs have finally taken out the town hall. Here's an easy dark elixir storage raid. Use three fingers to rapidly send out your swarm of barbs and archers. There's an infernal tower guarding the Dark Elixir store, so be sure to check whether it's a multi or single targeting infernal tower. You may want to avoid multi target infernal towers, as they can decimate barbs and archers pretty rapidly. So those archers are gonna finish off that Dark Elixir storage. And now there's some DE remaining in those collectors. It's not worth taking out that Barbarian King to get the Dark Elixir, as it's going to take a lot of barbs and archers to take it down. Instead, I'm just going to distract it with a couple of barbs within its radius, then quickly barge those collectors. And I still have my minions and a couple of barbs remaining for my next raid. Uh, make sure to always conserve your army, if you don't need to use a full army to, a full army to get all that needed Dark Elixir. The Dark Elixir Collectors are about half filled and are outside the base, so I'll throw one Barbarian for each of them, then take out the outlying buildings unguarded by defenses. The first thing you want to do is to take out all outlying buildings unguarded by defenses.
<coughs> okay, yeah, I'm back. <laughs> sorry, t uh, sorry that took so long. <clears throat> Alright, so it looks like my army is ready. And uh, I'm just gonna pre cook some healers here before I get into another raid. <clears throat> Wait, why do I only have one rage spell? Did I forget to cook spells? Oh, that's weird. Pretty sure I was gone for longer than that. for longer than that. I only have one rage spell ready. Okay, whatever. Yeah, I, I also don't have my archer queen, so I'm gonna have to boost her. Cause the army composition I'm using uh, is with the super queen with four healers, so I'm gonna need my archer queen. You know what, let's just boost everything, because uh, I know you guys want to see a lot of raids, so I don't want you guys waiting, so I'm just going to boost everything just for the stream. I'm going to boost my barracks right after uh, I do our raid. <laughs> Sorry about that. So uh, while I wait for my Archer Queen, I'm just going to do some battles on Clash Royale. Mm -mm -mm. I sent out his giant, so I'm just going to send out my Musketeer here. And uh, he also has a Musketeer going over there, so I'm going to send out my giant. Was a bit late on that. Send out my... Uh, Skeletons and that should kill his musketeer and his goblins um, He sent out minions. I'm just gonna let my musketeer take care of them. Perfect. And I'm gonna send out my goblin barrel He has a knight not a problem musketeer should take him down pretty easily and then uh, She's gonna get get some damage done onto that crown tower nice Okay, he has a bomber there's no support for that bomber. Bombers have very low hit points. I'm just gonna let my crown tower take it down while I load up on elixir. And then I'm gonna place my expo targeting his right uh, crown tower. That's gonna force him to send out troops on the right. So I'm gonna send him my prince out right here. So as you can see, he's focusing on removing that expo while my prince on the left has taken out his crown tower. Nice. <clears throat> Now I'm going to send out, look at that expo doing work onto that uh, right crown tower. Now I'm going to send out my giant on the right side. One of my crown towers is at really poor health 
And uh, I'm most likely going to lose that. So I'm going to need to take out his other crown tower. So I can't really play defense yet. Just because my crown tower on the left is badly uh, damaged. So I'm going to use the tombstone right here uh, to remove his... No! He's taking out my crown tower fairly easily. Because uh, that prince is level 2 and he has a level 5 bomber behind it. Dang. Alright, uh, musketeer take out his bomber and prince. Uh, it's all good. I'm going to use that arrow to remove those minions and the goblins. Okay, his right crown tower only has 940 hit points. I'm going to use that tombstone on the left. Try to shield against that giant. Going to send out that goblin barrel. Trying to have him focus on the left. On, on his uh, right crown tower. Dang it! It's just too strong. As you can see, level 5 player. So I was... So, so yeah, I was really outmatched there. <clears throat> yeah, that's just not fair. <laughs> against these higher level opponents that, you know, just have a big advantage against you. You're a professional comedian? Ooh, you should make a YouTube channel or something. You'd probably be famous if you did. Because uh, comedians are like really popular on YouTube. <laughs> it was good, Daniel. Alright, so I'm um, going to get my queen back in about 45 seconds because of the boost. And then we can do a super queen attack. And uh, I also have 137,000 Dark Elixir. So I'm going to upgrade my Barbarian King, actually. Yeah, let's, up let's upgrade the King because I've already done both of my war attacks. So I'm going to upgrade him and I'm also going to opt out. No, actually, I'm just going to opt in because I can do war attacks without the King. And I'll show you in, uh, in one, of, one of my videos how I attack in war without my King to three-star other Town Hall Nines. Okay, so the queen is ready. Nice. It was starting attack. Yeah, Clash Royale is a lot like, uh, I haven't really played much Plants vs Zombies, but it's a lot like Hearthstone, or is it called Hearthstone, or Hearthstone, I'm not really sure what it's called, but I played that game for like a day or two, and it's, it's very similar to this game, Clash Royale. Okay, here we have a lot of resource, so yeah, let's go for it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so against this Town Hall 9 base, 470,000 gold and around 300,000 elixir. So we're going to attack. Um, let's see. He has his queen on the right right here. Um, in that case, what we're going to do is we're going to make our way from the top, have the queen uh, go down south, and then we're going to break inside from like one of these points. And uh, yeah, have our archer queen make entrance there. So here we're gonna send out the Arch Queen with wall with healers behind, and we're also gonna remove these structures to have her focus on moving towards the right. So there we go. My archers and barbarians have removed those uh, barracks. So now she should be focusing on the right side of the base. Okay, great. Only two point defenses here, as you can see. Uh, his point defenses are really widely spread. There are three cannons at the south with Archer Tower, so it's a good idea to avoid uh, attacking from that region and attack from the region where uh, there are less there are less uh, point defenses close by. Like here, there's only two point defenses that Archer Tower and the cannon, not a problem. 
Uh, that expo is set to ground, not a problem. It's only one point defense targeting my Archer Queen. So here, I'm going to make my entrance right here because there's an Archer Queen. There's an opposing Archer Queen. And Archer Queens are deadly for, uh, for your Archer Queen because they deal a lot of damage. So you want to really avoid opposing Archer Queens targeting your Archer Queen. So here we're going to send out the Barbarians, Archers. Send out our Clan Castle. We have Hog Riders and a Clan Castle. Alright, very good. Uh, those Hog Riders are going to remove those structures. Uh, just going to make it much easier for our Queen now. Mm -mm -mm. And we have still yet to use a spell. So we're going to send out our Wall Breakers right here. Use a Raid spell. Couple them with a Raid spell. Tried to open up multiple layers but couldn't make it. But that's fine. Uh, we're going to send out Hog Riders because she's getting targeted by a lot of point defense. And uh, our healers are being blown back by that air sweeper. So it's a, so, um, but that's fine. Our hog riders have removed some of the defenses, and we're gonna send in more hog riders up top. As you can see, uh, my queen is distracting those defenses. She's tanking, she's shielding, while the hog riders are taking out the expos right here. So the hog riders over there are gonna take out the expos. Again, she's being targeted by so many point defenses. Gonna have to use that rage spell. Uh, have her no she's targeting the wild no wonder um, so now she's gonna remove that Tesla and uh, should be much better right now as long as she removes one more point defense no skeletons come on take out another cannon before uh, the rage spell wears off okay perfect remove the Tesla come on yes nice 46 seconds left though so looks like we might just be able to get that gold storage yeah we're not going to be able to get any other storages. Um, but it's all good. We still managed to get a lot of resource uh, in this one attack. Yeah, she's going for the wall now. And, um... You know, she might be able to get one of those elixir collectors. Okay, so four, three, two, one, and we've got, let's see, 360,000 gold and 178,000 elixir, so that's very good. Thanks guys. Alright, so now I'm going to boost all my barracks so I can do a lot of these raids so you guys don't have to wait because uh, uh, healers do take a while to train. Alright, so we're going to train in two wall breakers too. Even though this uh, army actually trains very quickly, but with the four barracks boosted, you guys can see me do like raids every, uh, like without having to wait. Because it only takes like around seven minutes I believe uh, with four barracks boosted. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so two wall breakers each and uh, we're going to need two barracks full of barbarians and two barracks full of archers. <clears throat> and the reason I'm carrying more barbarians than archers is uh, because barbarians are very good at shielding. And since I'm breaking inside bases, I need to use more barbarians to shield my archers. So barbarians, archers, this should be barbarians. And three hog riders each. How do you get Clash Royale? You have to uh, you have to live in a specific region where it's available, like in Canada, Finland, Norway. Uh, it's not available global yet. So if, if you don't live in one of those regions, you're going to have to change your iTunes uh, your iTunes account, the region of that, to like Canada or like Finland or Norway and up and, uh, and download the game from their app store. You can Google search or YouTube search for it, so 
Yeah, it's everywhere. And uh, camp's at 78 at the moment. And uh, we should be able to get a full army ready in about... In about uh, four minutes or five minutes. So I'm going to do some Clash Royale attacks while we wait. Nice. Great to hear that, Link. Okay, a pretty defensive oriented hand with the Goblin Barrel. So we're going to drop the Goblin Barrel first. And uh, he has a Balloon. No, Balloons are very overpowering in this game. Very OP. Because they do a lot of damage. One Balloon on your tower does like... Um, does like 600... Uh, <laughs> damage. So that's crazy. A Balloon can take out your tower in just like 3 hits. No, we're going to use that Tombstone to distract. Nice, we took out the Balloon. Awesome. Um, hopefully the Prince makes it through. No, a swarm of skeletons. We're going to use the arrow to take him out. And can the... No. Prince couldn't deal any damage. Okay, that's fine. It's still pretty even so far. We're gonna send out our giant right here. Focus on the left side because we already have our skeletons uh, spawning from that side. And I'm not gonna send out my Goblin Daryl yet. I know he's loading up on Elixir, so I'm aware of that. So I wanna first see what he's uh, planning on doing. Right, he has a musketeer going. I'm gonna send out my musketeer behind my giant to take care of his musketeer. Right, he sent out a knight. Now, that, now he already used okay, and a minion. So he already used up his elixir, and this is a great time for me to send out my goblin barrel. No, he had just enough elixir to use that arrow on time. Dang. Uh, so it's still pretty even so far. Um, let's send out our prince along with those skeletons. So those skeletons over there are shielding for my prince. My prince is going to charge in. No. We're going to use those arrows. Remove those uh, skeletons. Okay. It's still looking pretty even so far. And the reason it's uh, pretty even is because look at our level. We're both level 4. That's why. Otherwise, you guys probably would have seen like if, if that was a level 5 player, I would be struggling right now. Um, okay. Expo. Take out his musketeer. Use that giant shield for the expo. Send out my musketeer because uh, look at that balloon. No, the balloon's coming towards my expo. Take it out, take it out. <laughs> Dang. Um, Alright, gonna have to send out my prince here. That balloon's gonna deal some damage. But now I'm gonna send out my witch. And the witch is a, is a skeleton swarm horde killer. Because she does splash damage. So she took out those uh, troops pretty quickly. Now we're going to use that arrow right here, take out his minions, and weaken his musketeer at the same time. And now we're going to send out that goblin barrel. Take out his crown tower, yes! Oh, five, look at that, five hit points. Okay, not no problem, going to send out my expo, going to send out my tombstone. I just need to send out my arrow, so I'm just spawning out, play some defense, send out defensive units. And now I'm just going to use my arrow, and that's game, good game. Finish off his crown tower game hi Ash how many admins are there in Clashland just wondering I'm not sure um, yeah I'm not sure because I don't really work for Clashland, I just make articles. I write articles, so I share them on that website. I'm a friend of uh, the person that owns that site. I'm a friend of him, so yeah, I just provide him with the articles. I just allow him to publish them on his on his blog. You once answered in the comments of a video and wrote that you won't do any live streams as this situation. No, I, I don't think I've ever stated that I wouldn't do live streams. I think I stated that uh, I just don't have the time. I just do it randomly. Like this time, I'm just doing it randomly. I don't have a schedule for this. I just do it when I, whenever I have time. Looks like we only have four high riders, so 
I'm gonna dispose some barbarians and archers here to get six hog riders. Okay, don't have any clan castle troops, only one raid spell. Um, we'll get another raid spell in around 45 seconds, so if I can't find anything, I'll just come back. Hey Ash, I'm a new Town Hall 9. Wait, hold up on that, because I just found a lot of resource here. Um, yeah, this base is a really bad base because even though I can get some free, quick uh, resource here, it's really spread out and I want all the resources and because it's so spread out here I'm not gonna be able to get all of it I'm just gonna be able to probably get like half of it on time so I'm just gonna avoid that okay here a dead base nice we're just gonna quickly go for the golden elixir with the barbarians and archers spread them out here and the archers and uh, we'll just take the quick free loot here yeah, check out my YouTube videos. I have a lot of farming compositions for Town Hall 9s to use. Lots of farming videos. So, yeah, just check out my YouTube channel. They're like everywhere. <laughs> the videos for farming are like everywhere. Thanks, Kishidori. Uh, Ki Hopefully, I pronounced it right. <laughs> Apologize if I didn't. With only level 4 hog riders, should I add more to compensate? Yeah, you could. Uh, instead of using 6 hog riders, just use uh, 8. And instead of sending like three hog riders on the point defense, just send like four. Yeah, Hog with G Barch will work at Town Hall 8. Uh, but, you know, you could just use Barch or G Barch at Town Hall 8. You don't need to waste your Dark Elixir on Hog Riders. You could, and it will work, but, you know, G Barch and Barch work as well, just as well. Lots of elixir, but very, very few uh, gold here. Oh, nice, a free chest. Let's open that. Barbarians, no spear gums, nothing in, nothing special. Uh, but we do have a gold chest over here that's about to open in five seconds. 
Alright, let's open this gold chest first. Hopefully I get a really good rare card here. Goblins, Barbarians, Goblin Hut, okay, one more Goblin Hut for me. Mini P.E.K.K.A, nah, don't really need a Mini P.E.K.K.A for my deck. It's not really oriented towards uh, using that troop. Okay, back to search. Okay, awesome. Lots of resource against this Town Hall 9 base, so we're gonna attack this base for sure. Okay, here we have this Town Hall 9 base, 360,000 elixir and 360,000 gold. And let's see, we're gonna avoid that king. He's at the right side. Where's the queen? Does he even have an archer queen? <laughs> no, he doesn't have an archer queen. Okay, that's good then. Uh, let's test for that clan castle first. Nothing inside. Perfect. Now we're going to make our way towards the south here. Remove that barrack. And uh, going to remove those barracks right here. Okay, she's making her way towards the south. Perfect. We removed that barrack. So she should now focus mainly on the south side. Okay, great. And then she's going to go for that cannon. She's getting targeted by multiple point defenses. So we're going to have to use a rage spell right here. Yeah, we're going to have to definitely use that rage spell because of the three point defenses targeting her. We could have also used hog riders, but at that point she was in the red zone, so I didn't I didn't want to risk it. So I just went for the rage instead. And now she's making her way towards the south, and she should still be able to walk. Yep. And we're going to make her entrance, let's see. Yeah, let's make a, let, let's make that entrance here, so she can go for the town hall, dark elixir, and the storages. So spread out the barbarians. Check for bombs first, and then freely sp uh, spread them around here. And uh, we're gonna send out one, two, three hog riders towards that wizard tower because it does flash. It's a threat for our barbarians and archers. So we use the hog rider there to remove that, and then. Keep sending in groups of wall breakers to open up those uh, compartments here. We're going to rage the wall breakers with the healer, with the archer queen. Remove all those defenses and have her uh, progress inside here. So, um, let's see. That Tesla is targeting our healer. So we're going to send out our hog riders from that side to go for that uh, Tesla right there. Remove that Tesla that's targeting our healers. Okay, there we go. We've removed it. Perfect. And there are still these uh, point defenses. She's getting targeted by multiple point defenses. She's going to remove the Tesla. Nice. Alright, let's send out our Clan Castle Hog Riders right here. Remove those uh, Archer Towers. So we don't have to use our Queen's ability. Perfect. And now she should be able to recover back as those Hog Riders remove the Archer Tower here. Nice. And uh, yeah, we should be able to get everything now. Perfect. Okay, remove the Tesla and she will go for uh, the elixir storage right afterwards. Okay, looks like she was ta being targeted by that king. We're gonna activate her ability now, recover back, and uh, we're just gonna head out here because we got we practically got everything. So 350,000 gold, 360,000 elixir, over 700,000 in total resource. Awesome. Thanks, Link. Okay, so healer, healer, healer. One, two, barbarians. 
one, two, archers. Going to request a card. What card do I need? Hmm. I need either a giant. Yeah, let's just request a giant. Here we go. One, two, three, one, two, three. We have too many barbarians and archers here. Thanks, hi. Definitely get the Inferno Tower and the Freeze, man. Mad lucky. <laughs> Man, Crash Royale is just lagging. And here's my other account. I actually have two Clash Royale accounts. This uh, other account is in is in uh, Clash Clash Trinauts, uh with uh, Chief Pat. Yeah, I'm in Chief Pat's clan on Clash Royale. So I'm gonna open this chat uh, this chest. Free chest, mini P.E.K.K.A again, come on, why am I getting mini P.E.K.K.A's, I don't really like them. Okay, we're gonna request an Inferno Tower, I have Inferno Tower on this account, so I only need two more Inferno Towers, and uh, I can level it to level 4. And this is my main account actually, it has much stronger cards, and I'm also a level 5 player on this account. And uh, I'm also in Arena 4. Uh, let's do a raid on this. Uh, let's do a battle on this account. While I wait for my troops to get uh, to be, while I wait for my troops on my other account. Okay, gonna drop that infernal tower first. It's a great defense. And then we're gonna send out let's see a giant. He has he still hasn't deployed, so you can really see how intimidating uh, the infernal tower is. So we're gonna send out that giant from behind to load up on some elixir. Uh, he, he sent out his barbarians. My infernal tower should be able to easily crisp crisp them. Is it possible to join your clan, Ash? Uh, you have to check my application thread, and uh, if you meet the requirements, one of our recruiters will will accept you. Okay, awesome. Already got that crown tower on the right. Okay, we're gonna send out skeletons here. Actually, let's just go for the win here because uh, he's really not doing much to defend against the Prince Giant combo. And uh, yeah, let's just use that fireball. And <laughs> that's game. That was really easy. Okay. So I got how many trophies? 23 trophies, and I got a golden chest. Awesome. Mm -hmm. And I'm only a few trophies about 81 trophies away from arena 5 and yeah I really want to get to arena 5 because I want that wizard wizards really good okay let's go back to clash of clans now
Okay, yeah, that's good enough. I actually need to minimize this a bit more. Okay, that's good enough. Anyways, we have a full army. We have four hog riders, but that's fine. We don't really need too many high riders anyway. Let's let's head in. We have one rage spell. Let's just check the fa uh, the factory here. 34 seconds. So we'll just wait for another rage spell and then we'll head in. Okay, there we go. Hey Ghost Ride! Is it possible to join my clan? Here's the application thread. I'm gonna post it on the chat. Okay, awesome. Found this base on my third search. And look, he has both of his uh, heroes on the right side. So I'm going to attack from the left side so I can avoid them. And let's see, we're going to make that entry point from, from the left side. Okay, let's remove that hut so that it doesn't pull our troops towards it. And let's remove that hut at the top as well. And we're going to send in... Our archer queen here and while she's distracting that archer tower over here we're going to remove those collectors to then have her uh focus on moving towards the south so she removed the tesla she's going to remove the archer tower she's going then she's going to go for the gold mine and then the wizard tower okay great mm -hmm. now there are three point defenses here cannon archer tower and another cannon but look at their level they're very weak so we're probably not going to even need to use a rage spell here. Um, I might use a hog rider. Okay, she has removed that cannon. She took a really awkward turn here. And now she's getting targeted by three point defenses. What the heck is she doing? <laughs> that was a really awkward turn. So I'm going to have to use her ability here to remove that cannon. And the archer tower uh, to ease the pressure here. And we're going to open up this compartment. And send in our barbarians. And our archers behind. Have them go inside. Send out one, two. Let's send out our hog riders to remove that wizard tower so it doesn't do splash them. No, giant bomb. Okay, that's fine. We still have some troops left here. Another giant bomb? Dang, double giant bombs here. <laughs> okay, uh, let's use that. No, we don't need to use a raid spell yet. Send out more barbarians. Now we're gonna use a raid spell right here to allow our wall breakers to open up both of those layers. We have two wall breakers, so hopefully they make it through one and the other one no he couldn't make it okay uh use that poison spell remove those clan castle troops now we still have clan castle hog riders dang really wish the the wall breakers broke in but it's fine just look at the core right here it's full of mortars so it's a very weak core in terms of uh dealing with tanks such as the barbarian king or giants but in this case our archer queen is a tank with the healers so his core is going to have a very difficult time dealing with her. And uh, here she's getting targeted by that expo and that archer tower. Uh, but really not an issue because of their level. It's, they're just too weak against uh, four healers. 
So she's gonna take out the town hall and then she might make her way towards the bottom here. And uh, again, as you can see, being targeted by two of those point defenses is not a problem. She's gonna remove the archer tower, make her way inside, make her way uh, towards this side. And, uh, and then she should be able to get uh, both of those storages. My main concern is that Barbarian King um, might have to use another Rage Spell because of that King. He's gonna be a big problem. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna... Actually, there's only 30 seconds left. Not, not even gonna waste the Rage Spell. I'll just get the Gold Storage and probably head out there. Don't, it's just not worth wasting another Rage. Uh, or my hog riders to get another storage to get that elixir storage because time's running out anyway so just gonna end it there and we're gonna get 369,000 and 200,000 elixir awesome Okay, so making a lot of resource right now, attacking these bases, and uh, the reason I'm able to find these bases so quickly is because they're everywhere at this range. I'm in gold at the moment, so yeah, gold too, and because these bases are rushed, you're gonna find a lot of a lot of these rushed bases uh, down here. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Barbarians, archers, and barbarians. One, two. Now I have an excess amount of barbarians and archers here, so I'm just gonna have, gonna have to remove some of them. Usually, I just like to uh, preload on the barracks but since I'm boosting four barracks it's just uh it's just pretty difficult to uh preload them because I'm gonna have to remove all of them and then reinsert the healers so uh in this case I'm just gonna remove some barbarians and archers just to save time okay 143 troops so we're gonna do some clash royale attacks I'm gonna send out my prince onto that uh, witch. The witch is very weak to uh, to high HP units, and the prince has uh, has very high hit points uh, for what he can do. He's he's actually a very good troop, probably probably OP considered by many people. Okay, that baby dragon. We're gonna use that musketeer to take out that baby dragon. Baby dragons also do splash damage. But what makes them special is that they can fly. There aren't that many tanky flying units in this game that deal a lot of damage. So uh, flying troops such as balloons can be OP in this game as well. Especially since there is no air defense in this game. So uh, yeah. <laughs> And, uh, and that's probably also the reason there's no dragon in this game. They have to make a baby dragon and not the real dragon. Otherwise, it's going to be very OP uh, because there's no air defense. Now, obviously, no one's going to want to use an air defense if it's a liability against ground attacks, ground troops. So, yeah, and everyone uses ground troops uh, with the combination of air. So, it's just pointless to waste elixir on the air defense unless maybe if you use like Unless maybe if the air defense costs like one elixir, I think that's actually a good idea. Have the air defense cost like one elixir because uh, even though it costs only one elixir, it's still a liability. It's still a liability um, against ground attacks. So that's that's like one card being wasted on your hand if the opposing player is not using an air troops. But then again, a lot of people use air troops like minions and stuff. 
and an air defense would, would just ruin it and just not, you know, just not have people use any air troops anymore because of that. So I don't really see how you can balance that, how you can have a dragon in this game. Um, oops, what did I do? I think I just gemmed a silver ch chest by mistake. Yeah, I think... Oh, what the heck? <laughs> I think I just accidentally somehow gemmed a silver chest. Uh, oh well, doesn't matter. Anyways, as I was saying, you can't really have a dragon in this Clash Royale game because it's just gonna be OP. Um, and I don't, I don't see how they can balance having a dragon in this game. Maybe have like an arena, like an arena. What's their highest? Arena six, seventeen hundred. So maybe, maybe like in a really high arena level, maybe introduce a dragon uh, when players have much better cards, stronger cards. Uh, more powerful troops to deal with the dragon because at the moment in, the, in these bottom leagues There's literally nothing you can do if there is a dragon in this game. The baby dragon is already very strong from the tide was a finished line a wave race we were made to ride you and i were first in line and we took the let's change the song here uh the, the the music i'm playing is uh from no copyright and uh the reason I'm using this music is because I'm recording this stream and I do want to upload it to uh, YouTube for those, those subscribers that have missed it so they can watch it on their free time. And uh, oh, this is loud. Okay, there we go. <laughs> that was really loud. But yeah, this way I can upload it onto YouTube because I can't use the music. I can't use uh, other copyrighted music. To upload onto YouTube, so yeah, I have to use this type of music, and I also can't take song requests. So yeah, apologies for that. Okay, again on my third search, found this base. Uh, over 800,000 in total resource. So we're definitely gonna attack this. The Archer Queen's right there at the top. So we're gonna bring our Archer Queen in from the bottom. Uh, this is a really powerful base actually. You have max Town Hall, 9 point defenses, those Archer Towers, Cannons, Expo here. Um, no, it's just too many point defenses on the outside. So this is gonna require a lot of spells, so it's just not worth attacking this base with this uh, attack just because of the level of those point defenses and the number of point defenses on the outside you have four point defenses so if you want to attack that type of base you're gonna have to use a lot of rage spells and uh, yeah don't really want to do that I don't want to use too many rage spells so I'm just gonna search for uh, a base that's easier Ash, does the FWA strategy work? Yes, it does work. Um, all my farming clans do it. However, I never take part in it just because I don't need to. And uh, I like to do real wars. That's why I made altar of. That's why I wore an altar of war. I don't really take part in FWA wars. But that's something all my uh, hardcore farming clans like doing. Hey Light, what's up? <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna lower the volume, the music. Okay, should be better now.
Hey Speed Blitz, what's up? What are the requirements to be a moderator? Uh, basically, watch all my streams and take part in the chat and uh, you'll get in in time. However, I don't really do too much streams so um, so don't really need, not in search of moderators, but if I ever am, I'll make uh, those, those, uh, those viewers that watch my stream a lot, I'll make them uh, into moderators one day. So yeah, you might get a moderator one day if you uh, continue to watch my stream, take part in the chat. Yeah. Thoughts on the new star bonus and treasury? I actually just made a video on that uh, the moment it came out, so you can just watch that. Uh, my my first my uh, opinions on that. So I'm searching for a base that's offering me over 300,000 gold and 300 elixir. And uh, yeah, my target is really big, but the reason I'm doing this is because I'm making videos and I like to show show off uh, attacks where there's a lot of loot available. But if you can't really find uh, a really high offer, like at least 600,000 total resource, you can still attack a base that's offering over 200,000 gold and 200,000 elixir uh, with the same method. But I'm just searching for a uh, you no know, better loot. When did I start streaming? I started streaming a while ago in the morning, like like four hours ago. All right, later, Daniel. Yeah, I already answered your question, Ian. Uh, FW, FW, <laughs> FWA strategy does work. Still searching for the loot. So yeah, currently I'm multitasking. I have two iPads on me and I have uh, two computers. I have my computer and my laptop. On my laptop, I'm reading um, I'm reading the chat and uh, on my computer, I'm streaming it. And um, yeah, I'm also like searching up stuff. I'm looking through my YouTube channel on my laptop and uh, yeah, doing a lot of stuff, multitasking. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. A Town Hall 9 base uh, with around 800,000 in total. So definitely gonna attack that, attack this base. Let's look at his point defense. He has his king on the right, so obviously I'm gonna avoid that. Uh, queen inactive. He has an archer tower, cannon, two archer towers here. Um, okay, so we're gonna attack from this side. So we're gonna send out our queen right here, send out these healers, and uh, we're gonna have her go up. We're gonna remove this camp and that collector. Through that camp collector, and uh, let's see. 
We're gonna remove that archer tower. We need to create that space inside to have her go towards the top and not be attracted by that archer tower. And by removing that pointy fence threat, that archer tower, it just eases uh, the archer queen. It doesn't, so um, yeah, so it just makes it easier. And now she's targeting the wall. No, well you gotta target the wall. Let's open up that wall over here. Oops, sent out all my wall breakers over there by accident. I have no idea how I did that, but hmm. Let's remove those troops. Try to break inside here with those barbarians and archers or remove those uh, pointy fences. There's a dragon inside. Dang. That accidental wall breaker dro uh, drop is going to be very costly because I need those wall breakers to open up those uh, walls. Uh, I would have used the wall breakers along with the archer, the rage with the archer queen and the healer to open up both of these layers towards the core. But yeah, lost my wall breakers. Gonna have to use a raid spell here because she's being targeted by uh, the expo and the cannon here. Okay, she's gonna remove the expo. Mm, and then make her way towards the top. And yeah, she should be able to make her way around the base here uh, because there aren't any compartments separating uh, the walls here. And uh, I still have my hog riders that I don't need to use yet. Mm -mm -mm. I actually should have uh, made my archer queen go towards the south to get that town hall. Yeah, that was a big mistake. Along with the wall breaker mistake. Why do you not have a king? My barbarian king is upgrading at the moment. Alright, so, um... Archer Queen is gonna take out that tower. Nice. Hopefully she pulls out the barbarian king so she isn't cornered by both the archer tower and the king. No, now she's gonna get cornered. Uh, but we're gonna get the dark elixir storage here. Let's remove that archer tower. We're just gonna use one, two, three hog riders. Remove the archer tower just to ease the threats here because uh, th that barbarian king otherwise uh, along with the archer tower is going to deal a lot of damage. Okay, um, only 22 seconds left so we're going to have to activate her ability. Yeah, we're just going to have to activate her ability here to quickly take that gold storage and try to make her way towards that elixir storage. Nope, not enough time. But we still managed to get a lot of resource even though we couldn't get the the last remaining two storages. Mm -mm. So we're gonna end it there and that's around 500,000, I'll take it. Clash Royale sucks big time. Um, it's a fun game and I do believe it has a lot of potential but uh, I agree with you in the sense that it, it just doesn't you know incentive incentivize people that play longer and if you want to progress you gotta if you want to compete against the top players you're gonna have to gem. Um, it's very pay to win. It's a very pay to win game. But otherwise, it's a really fun game. It has a lot of potential. It could be one of the top games on the App Store, especially since it's created by Supercell. It's definitely going to get advertised a lot, just like Boom Beach. And you know, I don't like Boom Beach either, but it does very well on the top of the top of the App Store ratings. So this game could possibly be the same way. 
they're probably gonna make a lot of money because this game, um, yeah, it, it really attracts people that you know pay money to progress. A lot of people have already paid a lot of money. As you can see, this top guy, he paid over five thousand uh, dollars to gem his uh, his cards and everything to uh, to the level they are right now. And uh, I haven't, I have yet to spend a single penny on this game. I still haven't spent any money. So yeah, I'm just playing for free right now, and um, most likely gonna continue to play for free because I really have no like. I really don't see the point of buying gems. I don't see the point of buying gems because even though you're going to progress more, you're going to be able to gain more trophies and uh, uh, but you're still going to be outmatched. You're going to be outmatched by, by other players that gem more than you. So there's really no point in gemming because even if you gain more trophies, you gain better cards, stronger cards, you're still going to be outmatched by other people. So yeah, no point in buying gems to enjoy this game because the enjoyment level is still gonna be the same regardless of whether you pay or not because you're always gonna have people that are gonna pay more than you and uh, practically be at a higher level than you be um, you know still be able to beat you because even let's say I spend like some gems to get to like level 6 uh, I'm gonna be able to get up to like 1500 trophies pretty easily with that uh, with the powerful cards that I'm gonna get buying with the gems but then I'm gonna be faced against other people that are like level 7 that spent more gems so I'm again back to where I was uh, that same problem of ha playing against other people that also gem and then I can't complain about gemmers because then I'm a gemmer so if I go to the community and be like you know, you know this game is really um, gem based oriented you know pay to win I'm gonna look like a hypocrite um, anyways, my camp currently is at 144 healers, 8 seconds left, so yeah, we should, we should be able to get a full army really soon, so already at 200. Yeah, they should definitely reduce the chest reveal time, and also, you know, give more incentive to players who play longer, play more. Uh, rather than just limit them. Okay, we have a full army. Start the search. Ash, what do you use to record? Uh, I use display recorder. It requires a jailbreak. Okay, here's a Town Hall 9 base, but really powerful point defense is two active heroes, so. And uh, all the resources spread around the collectors and the storages, and it's just really well guarded. Uh, so I'm not gonna mess with this base because I'm most likely I'm most likely gonna be able to get half of the resource, just not all of it in time. Okay, looks like a lot of resource, but it's most likely inside the collectors. So here I'm just gonna use a four finger spam of deck. 
to quickly get those collectors and then I'm just gonna head out. And uh, those storages are just not worth attacking. As you can see, only 180,000 gold and 131,000. So yeah, I'm just gonna head out with the the free resource from the from the collectors on the outside and uh, save up my my troops, my healers for another raid. That's uh, that's more worth attacking for the storages. Alright, camp is full again. I need a good Town Hall 10 push base, mine is okay. I actually just made a recent uh, update of one of my uh, past Town Hall 10 bases. Um, I haven't released it on my channel yet, but I do have the speed build uploaded uh, as unlisted, so I'll link that to you. And you can use that base as a trophy base. It was one of the most popular trophy bases of its era. It's called the Heart of the Champion, maybe you heard of it. But yeah, I'm going to link that to you on the chat and you can use it. So looking for a lot of resource. What's your favorite troop? Um, <laughs> I'd say the Archer Queen because of the versatility she has, and uh, her range is just so good. It just makes everything you know fun and easy. Okay, here we have this Town Hall Nine. Let's attack this base. Okay, awesome, a Town Hall 9 with 370,000 gold in Elixir. So we're definitely gonna attack this base. Archer Queen's inactive, so we'll try to make our entrance from this side. We're gonna have our Queen uh, make her way towards the south here. Send out here, healers behind her, and we're gonna remove that gold mine with a couple of archers uh, to have her focus on moving towards the south. Okay, there we go. Now she's gonna go towards the south. And come on, come on, remove that barrack. No, she's making her way towards the top. But that's fine, doesn't really matter because as long as we have her moving in one direction, we know where she's going, we can then make our entry, entry point. So it doesn't really matter uh, the direction she takes. I would just have liked her to go towards the south, that way we could have avoided the Barbarian King. Uh, but you know, it's just totally fine wherever she goes. Here she's being targeted by two point defenses. Two of those expos that are set on ground. No, our healers are being targeted. No, I did not realize that. Send out those hog riders. Come on, quickly take out that air defense. No, 
We've lost our healers. I really did not see that. Dang. I'm just gonna end it here. It's just gonna be a fail. Um, yeah, because I could have gotten two more storages, but don't really want to lose my queen. Rather just have my queen and just you know take the fail there. <clears throat> But yeah, this is what happens sometimes when you're commentating Is that sometimes uh, you just don't see some things that you would Otherwise when you're not commentating When you're just purely focused on the attack, the raid So yeah, it's really hard to do It's much easier to do it like when you're not commentating When you're not recording Especially when there's also no pressure going on When you don't have a lot of viewers uh, it's, it's just much easier to do so on your own when you're farming. Uh, we already have the wall breakers, so shouldn't be cooking any wall breakers. Anyways, it shouldn't really take us long to uh, get a full army since uh, we didn't really waste much troops. We just ended it there very quickly. So level 8 queen is no good for this tactic. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend a level 8 queen. That's just too weak. You should continue to upgrade her. Keep her on upgrade at all, at all times. Until you get to like level 15, then you can start using the super queen. Or also uh, continue upgrading her. Alright, light. See you later. Thanks for stopping by. So it comes at 133, but once we get those uh, healers, should fill up very quickly. So I'm going to do some uh, Clash Royale attacks while I'm waiting. Okay, drop the Goblin Barrel here. And uh, let's see, he still hasn't deployed anything yet. That's not a good idea waiting that long because now it just gives me the upper hand and uh, I'm going to use my musketeer here. I'm just going to totally ignore those minions because they're not being supported by any other troops. But he's a level 5 player so it's going to be a difficult, it's going to be a difficult uh, attack Yeah, just because he's a level 9. As you can see he's already deploying so many troops right now. Uh, it's just going to be very tough. I'm going to need to use that tombstone. Guard my witch and also take out the giant. Yes, uh, his bomb tower is at, is at low health. Okay, great. And gonna need to send in my prince. Come on, no, don't take out my witch. That's level three uh, Valkyrie, so I took out my witch pretty quickly, even though Valkyries are pretty weak. Ah, uh, dang, minions. I'm gonna have to let my prince die there. No way to save him. Let's send down my giant. No, he has a prince on the other side. Quick, quick, goblin barrel. Take that prince out. Yeah, as you can see, I'm having a pretty difficult time against a level 5 player. Because they just have the upper hand. They have the momentum every time <laughs> because of uh, because of their better troops and everything. Higher level crown towers, stronger crown towers that deal more damage. So they always have the upper hand. Can I use my... No, I'm not going to use my expo yet because of the minions there. So I'm going to use my arrow and now I'm going to use my expo. No, bomb tower. Um, let's see here. Expo should be able to take out his bomb tower pretty quickly. Let's send down my prince. And let's see. What does he do? He's gonna send out his giant, my crown tower should be able to deal a lot of damage. He sent out minions. Hmm. Okay, gonna send down my musketeer, take out his giant. Gonna use the, the arrows over there to take out his minions, weaken his witch, and now I'm gonna send down my giant. Okay, looking good. I'm trying to send down my witch now. Perfect. So I got a combination of uh, musk musketeer, witch, 
and giant. I'm gonna use my tombstone right there, take out his prince. The tombstone is very good at taking out the prince. Uh, now I have the momentum in my way, and uh, I should be playing defense actually, so I'm gonna drop that. <laughs> okay, I won, <laughs> nice, nice. Beat a player that's uh, of higher level than me. He's a level five and I was able to beat him. Awesome. Yeah, if you have level 8 queen, you should stick to just hog barge. Or, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm -hmm. Okay, we have a full army. Um, let's just drop some barbarians to make room for our 6th hog rider. Pre-cook some hog riders. And uh, we'll head in in just a moment. Okay, full army ready. Low connection, huh? I wonder why. Uh, apologies for that. Looks like I lost connection somehow. But should be good right now. Let me know if you guys can eat. Let me know if you guys can hear me. Okay, great. Okay, so we're back. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. I very rarely lose connection like that. Okay, awesome, a Town Hall A pace with this much resource. Uh, so lots of resource inside the collectors and the store, so we're gonna have to go for all of it. So let's see, our plan's gonna be... There's a king right there, but that's fine. We're gonna use our queen right here, send out those healers, and uh, we're gonna remove these barracks and huts and stuff on this side. Have her go towards the south to get all of these collectors outside here. So my barbarians and archers removing those structures. And uh, they're gonna force her towards the south now. 
And uh, we're also going to use Barbarians and Archers on these Collectors that are outside. And their Queen here is still going, making her way towards the south. There's a King over there. And uh, once she gets close enough, I'm going to pull out that King with my Barbarians and Archers. And uh, have them take her, take that King out. See here, nope, the queen is gonna pull out the king, but that's fine. It's only a level two king, it doesn't even matter because uh, you have an archer tower that's pretty weak there, king pretty weak, really weak. Um, so, yeah, very easy, easy to take out, and uh, I'll just let her continue to walk here. You know, I'm a bit impatient, so I'm just gonna help her out with some archers over here. <laughs> Those healers were getting targeted, but not anymore, so that's good. Alright, now let's break in here. Open up that wall. You have some Teslas here, cannon, so let's send out barbarians, archers, take them out. Send in uh, more wall breakers. And then Barbarians, Archers, send in more Wall Breakers. Mm -hmm. And uh, Queen is targeting that wall over there, but that's fine. She'll make her way inside. And uh, let's see, do we need to use any more Wall Breakers? No, we don't. We could assist our Queen here, but those Wall Breakers, I don't know. I'm not really confident with their AI. They might target some other wall. Um, you know what? Let's just send in those wall breakers right up top here. Two of them will break a level 6 wall. And the other one will... Yeah, what, what is he doing? Not really what I wanted. Wanted him to uh, help her here. Open up that layer. Okay, Um. so she's going to make her way towards the core. Nice. And... Uh, those defenses are just too weak. They're not really gonna. They're not gonna do anything to the queen as she makes her way inside. And uh, we'll just use the. We'll just use our ability here, cause uh, those defenses aren't going to do anything to her. We have 34 seconds, so we'll just go for that gold storage. Hopefully she goes for the gold storage. She's going for that cannon and then she's gonna target the wall. No. There's like 14,000 dark uh, 14,000 gold inside that storage. Uh, she might not be able to get it. Let's see. 99%. 10 seconds. Yeah, she might. She's gonna get it. <laughs> nice. So we got everything. 100%. 3 star. In total, over 760,000. Awesome. We have too many hog riders here. Who wants hog riders? One, two. Okay, Fafa, I hope you like hog riders. If not, I apologize. One, two, three, four, One, two.
Okay, camp is at 150. Let's see, from his vid last week, Bam and Silver sniping worked fine. Dark is very hard to farm without heroes. Yeah, just watch my videos. So while I wait for that camp to fill, we're gonna do another battle on Clash Royale. Just a few more trophies away from Arena 4, and I really want to get to Arena 4 uh, so I can unlock better defenses like the Infernal Tower and uh, also get better better troops. Okay, I'm gonna send out my Prince early here. And we're gonna combine the Prince with the Giant behind. Shield the Prince. No, there's a dragon. Let's send out that goblin barrel right here. Try and take out his uh, crown tower early. Yeah, that dragon is such a big threat. Nice, 110 left. Let's use that witch. Try to distract that baby dragon while our crown tower takes it out. And we're gonna use a tombstone right here. Uh, try and stop that prince, a level 2 prince, because he is a level 5 player. No, goblin barrel. No. Yeah, he's quickly taking out my tower on the right side with, with very little effort. Ooh, that prince. Okay, we've taken out his crown tower on the left, but he has those level 5 barbarians very deadly. Um, And the... Level 4 Barbarians here taking out my Giants. Not much I can do here. Gonna use my Musketeer take out those Barbarians before they take out my Tower here. Yeah, those level 4 Barbarians quickly took out my uh, Giants. Barbarians are very powerful in this game. Well, let's use that Witch. He's already summoned so many troops and I have yet to do anything <laughs> to stop them. Yeah, this is like the power of a level 5 versus a level 4. Just no chance. Boo! Alright, camp set. Let's see. Oh, we need to boost our barracks again. So we can quickly get some uh, troops. I, in that case, uh, while we wait again, let's search. No, uh, everything gets saved on your game center. I've already changed my region back to United States. Uh, so yeah, when the game launches globally, you're gonna get everything. Um, you're not gonna lose any progress. He still hasn't sent anything out, so we're gonna send out our expo right here. Force him to send something out. Okay, he sent out his musketeer. Expo will take it out very quickly. So now I'm gonna combine. No! Skeleton swarm. Arrows, arrows. Okay, nice. That expo is doing a lot of work taking out that swarm. And don't even have to use my arrow here. Okay, he sent out his goblin barrel to take out my expo. Alright. Um, Prince charging in. Nice. That dealed a lot of damage to his uh, tower. Now he has a Valkyrie here, <laughs> not a problem. Um, I'm gonna send out my Musketeer. We'll quickly take out that very slow Valkyrie. They should really speed up the Valkyrie. She's like seriously slow. Okay, we're gonna send out that Goblin Barrel towards that right crown tower. Yeah, the Musketeer is taking out the Witch, so if you guys want to know a counter to the Witch, it's the Musketeer. The Musketeer is very good at that. Okay, we're going to use the Expo. Try to pull out that Balloon so it doesn't target. Nope, the Expo is not close enough. Come on, take out. See, Balloons are so OP. Look at that. Did 600 damage and then plus the Bomb, another 100, 700 in total that quickly. It's such an OP troop. Okay, we're going to send out Giant here early. Uh, to force him to send out his troops on the right side. Okay, he deployed his witch. Now I'm gonna send out my musketeer. And I'm uh, gonna use those arrows to quickly take out 
that uh, that swarm of skeletons. Now I'm gonna combine the giant with the witch and the musketeer deadly combination of point attack and splash attack. And then I'm gonna use the expo on the left to uh, target the left the left crown tower. No, he sent out a balloon. Yeah, it's gonna take it out. I'm gonna send out my giant here and gonna send out my musketeer he sent out his goblins so he's gonna take out my crown my crown tower on the left uh, gonna use those arrows remove the uh, skeletons and now combine the giant with the witch and the musketeer send out my goblin over there goblin barrel uh, he sent out a witch okay let's send out no I forgot I forgot to take out his crown tower on the right. So he won the game on time. There was only 39 hit points. Didn't have an arrow to take it out. So I should have used that uh, goblin barrel to take it out. Just didn't have an arrow that spawned. That, uh, that I just couldn't draw an arrow on time. So I got really unlucky there. Uh, being unable to draw an arrow. So yeah, there, there's also some luck in this. Actually, not some. A lot of luck involved in terms of who has the better deck. If you have the advantages in that, and also the cards you draw. Sometimes you just can't draw the right card. Like in that, in that raid, I needed to draw an arrow to take out his crown tower on the right side, uh, but I just couldn't do so, just because I didn't have the luck. The luck of the draw. Okay, so camp is ready here, so I'm going to look for another raid with this Super Queen attack. So, uh, what town hall level are you guys? Let me know in the chat so you know I get an idea of what my viewers are. How many town hall eight, nine, ten? Two, there's only town hall seven players that watch my, you know, my content. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, so it looks like I have uh, a variation of Town Hall 8, 9, 10, and 11 players that watch my uh, videos. Alright, that's cool. So I can continue to make these, uh, make more content for you guys for 8, 9, 10, and 11, and focus on these, uh, these four Town Hall levels. And it's a good it's also a good thing that I have four accounts of different town hall level to make these content unlike other youtubers that uh, don't have that this many accounts to do content for the many different players of the game and it also gives me a good sense of you know farming and everything wars and other stuff for all the different town hall levels It's currently 3 p.m. so it's getting pretty late. I've already st streamed for over four hours. Uh, so I'm just gonna do one more raid and then I'm gonna have to end it here. But I'm gonna try to stream more often, possibly this weekend, weekend when I have time. 
And uh, I also like that I can make content for my YouTube channel. Like right now what I'm doing is I'm making, uh, I'm saving these videos. I'm saving, I'm making videos and uh, saving them to upload later on YouTube. So yeah, I really like this new process. So I'm going to try to do streams while also working on videos so I can do both streams and upload videos at the same time. So I already have, uh, I've already made content for Town Hall 8, Dark Elixir Farming today during the stream. And I've made uh, content for Super Queen with Hog Barge. And uh, also did some Town Hall 9 War Attacks that I'm going to have uploaded as well. So yeah. What's your favorite attack strategy? Well, it depends. Uh, as a Town Hall 9, my favorite attack strategy is possibly the method I'm using right now with Super Queen and Hog Barge because it's just so fun. You know, it's just so versatile. You can do so much with it. Um, you know, it's just really fun watching the Queen, you know, make her way, progress inside a base slowly. And at the same time, you know, you can use those high riders to whenever uh, to remove the point defenses. You know, there's a lot of thinking that goes on, lots of strategy. So I really like that. Okay, so here we have this base. Okay, nice. The Town Hall 9 base 470,000 elixir, 250,000 in total gold. Everything is spread around though. Um, let's attack from, yeah, let's attack from the top right. There are two elixir storages. Let's have the queen go south here. So we're gonna remove those collect those uh, builder huts and the barracks right here, and uh, try to get our queen to move towards the south. And if you also look at the position of the point defenses, um, you have an archer tower over here, two archer towers that there. That expo is set to air and ground, so that's great. Don't have to worry about it. As, uh, as our queen makes her way... No, she's going towards the top. Okay, whatever. Just need to improvise. But again, look look at the air defense that's right there targeting our uh, healers. So gonna have to send out those hog rider to take out that air defense. And now uh, gonna have to use that poison spell to take out his clan castle troops. Okay, great. And I'm gonna break inside here. What the heck? <laughs> Those wall breakers spread around towards that side and that side. That's really weird. And again, the air defenses are targeting our archer queen. So yeah, really not looking good here. Uh, sorry, had some visitors, so had to disable commentary for a second. Anyways, uh, that wasn't a very good raid. Had my healers being targeted by those air defenses. Needed my archer, going, archer queen to go towards the south, but still managed to get a lot of resource. Got 321,000 elixir, 117,000 gold, so over 430,000 in total, so that's fine with me. So I'm gonna do another raid since that wasn't a great one. I want to do some great raids show you guys some great ones so Gonna do another raid before I leave I Have too many barbarians and archers One, two, three, one, two, three.
All right, so camp is currently at 127. Let's see how we're doing in war so far. Three hours left, we're in the lead. 51-46, nice. Let's see if anyone got some really, if anyone managed to get a three star uh, against one of their 11s or 10s. Okay, nice, a three star against Molto got a three star against his Town Hall, ten, uh, Town Hall eleven, Rush Town Hall eleven. Okay, nice. Let's see what he did. And uh, Molto, Molto is an expert with the Archer Queen walk, so that's what he's gonna do here. He's gonna use the Earthquake spell here, use the Archer Queen, his level forty Archer Queen, uh, with healers. And let's see. <laughs> Those uh, wall breakers made a weird turn, but have opened up the first layer. She's gonna take out, let's see, he's using mass witches, level level 2 witches. Okay, he has a queen, he's gonna act, have to activate her ability here. Nice. And now he's gonna send out those, the massive, massive swarm of witches. And uh, it's gonna be very good against this nemesis base uh, with really wide open spaced areas around the base. So, uh, witches are gonna be freely able to swarm around the whole base. He has two multi-infernals which is effective against witches but still not enough to stop them. So he has that archer queen over here as well walking by while uh, while his troops, his witches and uh, troops at the core are both distracting and taking out those defenses in the core so then that's gonna just make it much easier for the archer queen walking here to remove the uh, the last remaining defenses and structures so uh, the witches here are trapped but they are gonna be able to target the structures over the wall and uh, it's just gonna make it easier for the queen to then uh, just walk around and finish the remaining structures with those healers so awesome raid, Malto. This was very good. I think I'm going to publish this on YouTube. Along with my uh, Town Hall 9 uh, walk attack. Nice. <clears throat> so camp's at 137. Let's do a Clash Royale attack while uh, while we wait. Why you no read comments? Um, well, the chat is going pretty quickly, and I'm also focused on commentating and you know doing attacks and battles on Royale. So yeah, I'm trying my best to answer them. If you have any questions feel free if I didn't answer any of your questions uh, feel free to post them again here I'm gonna use that uh that tombstones take out his P.E.K.K.A he sent out those skeletons swarm of skeletons but I had a witch and the witch did splash damage so she took out his uh his swarm of skeletons very quickly and here I'm gonna send out that goblin barrel no a bomber that's gonna take out my uh goblins yeah He's also a level 5 player, so it's going to be tough. Level 6 bomber. No, I was trying to get that giant to get in front of the musketeer, but he failed to do so. No. We're going to have to use an arrow right here. He has a mini P.E.K.K.A going on the rampage. No! Okay, Okay. so it's still pretty even so far. I'm gonna send out the witch right here. Let her uh, spawn multiple skeletons. And let's see here. We're gonna send out the prince. Try to shield for the witch that I have uh, behind. No, oh, he sent out a giant. Um, yeah, it's gonna be very tough. Let's send out the musketeer. So he already has momentum and everything in his way. 
um, just because he's a higher level with better troops. Okay, and so now the giant keeping him, keeping him in front of my uh, musketeer. No swarm of skeletons. Those are really annoying. Dang, a prince and a witch. Alright, send out my prince here. And send out my witch. Okay, he sent out a P.E.K.K.A. Now I'm gonna send out my giant. Keeping him in front of my witch. Gonna send out my barrel. He wasted his, uh... His, his fireball. So that tells me that, uh... He's not gonna be able to use an arrow. No, no, not looking good because uh, my tower is really weakened. His isn't. He's, he has more hit points on his tower, so he has the lead here. I'm right, going to use the expo to defend my tower from that giant. Go, come on, Goblin Barrel. Need you to take out that tower. Oh, 400. Come on. Send out our giant. No! He barely managed to get that. There was 172 hit points. Uh, but yeah, he had the advantage there. He's a, Being a higher level, he had the advantage. Otherwise, I think it would have been much closer. Or I would have won, actually. Okay, um, we're going to need two more wall breakers. And there we go. And where's our queen? Oh dang! Didn't see that she was a uh, she. She was did I didn't boost her, so we're gonna have to wait a bit longer here. So twenty five minutes. So with the boost, it's gonna it's gonna be around six minutes. So we're going to do more battles on Voyal. Okay, against a t uh, level 5 player. Dang, a giant. Um, send out our tombstone here. Send out a print. And, um, hmm. The giant and uh, baby dragon combo is very deadly. I'm actually very weak to that combination because I don't have that many troops that can deal much damage to uh, air, tanky air units. So I'm going to use that arrow. Send down my... Yeah, I'm low on elixir. Come on, come on, come on, spawn. Oh, dang. Use the lightning to take out my crown tower. Dang. Um, hmm. Queen is getting targeted, but my giant is making his way. He used the Valkyrie on the giant. Very bad idea. So that tells me he's an inexperienced player, not a very smart player. Because uh, you don't, you really don't want to send out a Valkyrie on the giant. Valkyries do very uh, low damage. They do splash damage, so they're very weak uh, against the high HP unit like the dragon. Okay, he sent out that dragon though. That dragon combination with the minions. I'm gonna need to use my musketeer, but <laughs> he quickly took out the musketeer. All right, so I've taken out his dragon though, and while what I'll be doing is uh, safeguarding this crown tower with those tombstones, and I'm gonna wait until he uses his elixir here, and then I'm gonna send down my goblin barrel, take out his crown tower over here, nice. And uh, let's see, we're gonna send out giants from this side. We need to take out that crown tower on on the right side. Otherwise, we're not gonna be safe. Cause uh, we can't play defense just yet. We need to remove that tower first. 
He's focusing on the left side. Really bad idea. That's not what you want to do at this point. You want to play defense because you're a level 5 player. You want to take advantage of that and try to take out my crown tower on the right. But instead, he's focusing on my king ta king's tower, which has a lot more hit points. Uh, so yeah, really bad idea on that because now I can play defense. I took out his crown tower on the right. So I'm in the lead right now and uh, I can play defense. So I'm going to use my expo to shield my king tower here. King tower has a lot of hit points. Uh, so yeah, I'm really in the lead here, looking very good, gonna send down my Witch. Okay, he sent out Valkyrie, gonna send down my Giant Key, playing defense. 16 seconds left, so as long as I can continue to play defense here, send out a Hut, I'm gonna win this. So yeah, this is an, this is an example of skill beating uh, pretty bad higher level player alright so uh, camp is not full on my town hall 9 but queen is still 11 minutes so we have time to do one more battle on clash royale why is everyone speaking french on the chat <laughs> Alright, gonna place my tombstone here. Send out my barrel over there. Dun, dun, dun. He's gonna use a bomber pretty late on that. His crown tower already lost about 40% health. Alright, he's gonna send out a witch on the left, so I'm gonna send down my giant and then uh, combine it with the musketeer. Okay, he has a prince, so he's using a prince witch combo. Very deadly. I have to take out his prince, otherwise it's gonna do a lot of damage onto my tower. No, it's charging in. Took out my uh, my musketeer and my uh, giant very quickly. Dang. Um, he has a Valkyrie witch. He's gonna get it. Um, yeah, just gonna give him the tower here. Send down my expo and. Uh, Let's see, let's use those arrows. Once those swarms clump up together, right here they've grouped up, so we're gonna use that arrow and let our king take out the witch. And uh, we're gonna continue to focus on that tower on the right. Uh, not focus too much on our king tower because it has a lot of hit points. All right, he sent out his witch at the right. We have a minute left so plenty of time plenty of time no that prince it's so deadly um let's see here we're gonna send we're gonna need to send out our musketeer and then he's gonna send out valkyrie so yeah he took the whole momentum of this game send out the musketeer valkyries have a lot of hit points send out my prince And then we're gonna need to send out that goblin barrel. Come on, quickly take out his crown tower because we're gonna need to. If you win this, it's gonna be a very good win if we do. Nice, we've taken out his crown tower. Now we need to focus on the left one. We're not gonna go for his king tower because it just has too much hit points. Look at that, 2,900. Uh, we're gonna send out a witch behind the giant, combine it. He has a giant going on right here, but we're just gonna use a tombstone and that's gonna basically deal with the giant here. I'm gonna need to send out my... Uh, Musketeer, take out his Valkyrie. I'm gonna send out my Goblin Barrel. Let's see what he does. Mm -hmm. Nice, nice, looking good. Send out my uh, arrows here. Quickly weaken, take out a bunch of his troops. <laughs> nice, looking very good here. Take it out, take it out. Yes, yes, we've managed to win. Awesome. That was a very good win. Because uh, I was losing at first, then made that great comeback. Awesome. Okay, so uh, we have our queen back, so we're gonna do that raid now. We have four hog riders. Let's remove some barbarians and archers to make room for two more hog riders. Okay, there we go. Forgot to cook a poison spell. 
Um, so I'm just gonna have to be more wary of 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 Clan Castle and just uh, just lure it. Dang, that's a lot of resource. <laughs> um, okay, let's take it from these collectors. I might not be able to get all of it. Uh, let's try to get as much. Because I don't have that many barbarians and archers. Okay, we're going to distract that king. Now we're going to send out those barbarians and archers on these two sides. Okay, send out more of our barbarians and archers here. And uh, let's see. Okay, archers are getting the collectors here. They're getting the collectors over there. And there's an elixir collector. Okay, we should be able to get all of it then. All right, we'll just go for the collector here then. All right, great. So we got a lot of free resource here. Alright, um, so I'm just gonna have to wait for my barbarians and archers again here. So it's only gonna take a few seconds since I have four barracks boosting. So yeah, just a few more seconds. Okay, we're ready. Let's go. That's a lot of elixir, but not much gold. Looking for both gold and elixir. So yeah, I farmed a lot today on uh, this account. Have like 5.7 million gold and 3.8 million elixir. Think I have some idle builders, so I'm gonna I'm gonna upgrade something. <laughs>
Okay, nice. Lots of resource, but uh, it's spread around inside the storages and the collectors. We're just going to go for the collectors. The storages are just not worth it. So, let's see. Just going to spread out my barbarians here. Use four fingers. Okay, there we go. And uh, we'll just take the free free golden elixir on the outside, inside these collectors. Oh no, ran out of battery on my... Uh, on my other iPad, I didn't realize. Actually, not. I, I didn't lose battery. It just the AirPlay just went out for some reason. So I'm gonna try to get that back. Actually, you know what? Uh, I'm ending the stream anyway in a few minutes, so doesn't really matter we'll just stick to clash of clans for now expert in this <laughs> monitor global video capture let's let's try video capture here nope it's lagging and not responding oh, that didn't okay no this is not it let's just go with uh let's just go with monitor capture Why is not let why is it not letting me allow uh allow a region here? I forget it. <laughs> it's good enough here. Yeah, it's good enough. So yeah, just gonna do one last raid, a storage raid, not not a collector raid. And uh, let's see, what what are we gonna upgrade? We have three builders idle. Okay, so three builders idle. Um. Wizard Tower, yeah, let's upgrade a Wizard Tower. And we have a lot of Elixir. But oh, I've already completed all my Elixir upgrades. Except uh, except maxing out two of my barracks. But I need to use those barracks uh, to farm with. So don't really want to upgrade them. Maybe when I'm on a break, when I'm on a break, uh, I might upgrade them. But not now. So instead, I'm just going to use the... Use the elixir on the wall. Get a level 10 wall. Okay. Okay, nice. A lot of resource here. Okay, nice. A lot of resource in this Town Hall 9 base. Um, Queen is inactive up top, so that's great. We're gonna make her entrance in... Um... Let's check the point defenses. There, are, There's an Archer Tower there that's upgrading, but you have an Expo that's on ground. So I'm, the Archer Queen's gonna get targeted by the Cannon, Archer Tower, and Expo. 
multiple threats. Um, let's try to avoid that. Let's try to attack. Let's try to get our queen to go towards the right here. This is going to be a tough base because of those point defensive threats and the expos that are on ground mode. So here, remove those collectors, those barracks. Have our archer, archer queen focus on the right side. Let's try to remove that archer tower with our barbarians and archers. And uh, yeah, we're going to need to remove that air defense as well because it's uh, targeting our our healers. No, it's it's taking out one of our heal healers. So it sucks. Um, but now she's making her way towards the left. And uh, this is, yeah, it's just really unpredictable sometimes as to what she's going to do. She was making her way towards the right, but then decided to make her way towards the left. And look at those healers. What are they doing? Going to have to send out more Hog Riders here. And we're going to have to activate her ability. And uh, those Hog Riders should take out the Tesla. And let's break inside here before, before that air defense over here targets our queen. And send out our barbarians and archers. And we're gonna send out wall breakers. And we're gonna combine all of those barbarians, archers, wall breakers with that raid spell, along with the queen and the healers. Awesome. And I'm just gonna send out my uh, clan castle hog riders here just to take out those core defenses, you know, those splash defenses. And uh, look at the healers, they've taken. They moved off towards that way, that direction to heal the Hog Riders, but that's actually pretty good because Hog Rider uh, with the healers is a very deadly combination. So I'm going to actually utilize that. Uh, so Rage, the healer, and the Hog Riders here, and look at them do work. This is actually a very good base to use this combination against. So look, Hog Healer attack, a very old school style attack. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm. We lost our queen though. Dang it! <laughs> Nothing else to get storage is here. Uh, oh well, but that was that was pretty fun, you know. Even though we couldn't get the storages, we lost our queen because the um, cause the hog riders stole our healers. But whatever, we'll just end it there. We got some resource. At least it was fun to do, you know. And to avoid that, one of the things you can do to avoid that from happening is just deploy your hog riders away from the archer. Queen. You know, I, I, I'm just used to sending out my uh, clan castle troops. They're usually barbarians and archers, so it, at that point, I, I just sent out my clan castle without knowing that, you know, they were carrying hog riders. Uh, otherwise, I probably would not have sent out my hog riders from that direction. Would have sent out my hog riders from another direction to take out the point defenses, especially the point defenses that were on the exterior. Uh, so, yeah, hope you guys really enjoyed this stream. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll try to do more of these streams later. Um, probably this weekend. So yeah. Today is Thursday. I mean, not Thursday. Tuesday. Uh, gonna try to do a stream on Friday maybe. If I have time. So yeah, look forward to that. And thanks for watching guys. And uh, see you guys again later. Peace.